Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. The starting contract is to reborn the Empress, I will return 10,000 times. Chapter 41 When Li Feng woke up again, he found that he was still in the alley. The only difference was that there was a middle-aged man beside him who was tied up and thrown into the corner with him. Li Feng recognized the middle-aged man next to him at a glance, and said with a shocked look on his face. Uncle Master the man Li Feng called his uncle was none other than Qingfeng sect elder Li Dao. At this moment, his clothes were in rags and his right eye was bruised. It was obvious that he had just experienced a severe beating. Seeing the other party's miserable appearance, Li Feng couldn't help but feel a storm in his heart. He knows the strength of his master uncle Li best. The opponent is a powerful person in the great power realm. Who can beat the opponent like this? The key point is that the other party didn't come to give you spiritual stones, why was he caught? Hearing Li Feng's call, Li Dao just glanced behind the two of them intentionally or unintentionally, and did not answer Li Feng's words. Woke up, suddenly a deep voice sounded from behind Li Feng and the others. Hearing the sound, Li Feng turned his head with a stiff neck, his eyes met those cold and ruthless eyes, and he couldn't help but shudder. You. Dot who are you, and what do you want to do to us? I, we are from the Qingfang sect. At this time, Li Feng had no idea, he only hoped that the reputation of his sect could scare away the murderous people in front of him. Snapped, but what greeted him the next second was a crisp slap. After suffering a big blow, Li Feng suddenly felt dizzy and almost fainted again. When I'm not told to speak, just keep your mouth shut. As Zhang Chuan spoke, he reached out and patted Li Feng on the shoulder, his face remained expressionless. Li Feng, number 59 on the list of geniuses. You are so brave, you dare to touch the people of my Kangyuan sword sect. Do you think that moving out of the Qingfeng sect can protect you? If you pay three times what you snatched from me, junior sister Luo, a year ago, I might consider letting you go. Hearing this, Li Feng couldn't help but froze on the spot. Kang, Yuan Jian Zong, when did you offend someone from the Kangyuan sword sect a year ago? At the same time, he secretly glanced at the jade-like girl from Xiaojia standing not far away, and he had no memory at all. While Li Feng was still thinking in his mind, a sound of wind suddenly whistled past his ears. Then there was a strong force on his left cheek, and he and Li Dao were knocked to the ground. Zhang Chuan shook his right hand, then took out a handkerchief and wiped it slowly, saying calmly, Is it possible that you don't want to admit what you have done? Li Feng now felt a splitting headache and a burning pain on his face. He groaned in pain and said with difficulty, I, I really don't know. He really couldn't understand what it was about a year ago or about junior sister Luo. At least tell yourself what he robbed a year ago, right? Hearing this, Zhang Chuan sneered in his heart. Of course he knew that Li Feng had no idea. The grudge between the two that Luo Yue told him before was simply fabricated. But so what? Now that Li Feng has come to Luo Yue's door on his own initiative, he can not only maintain his image as a good senior brother who protects his shortcomings, but can also use this to send resources to Luo Yue. He still has to thank Li Feng. Zhang Chuan chuckled and shook his head. There is an old saying in Dongzhou, which is that those who understand current affairs are heroes. I think this torture instrument in my hand will definitely be able to pry your mouth open. After saying that, Zhang Chuan took out a big hammer from nowhere and shook it in front of Li Feng. I hope you will cooperate obediently so as not to suffer physical pain. As soon as he finished speaking, Li Feng on the ground struggled to get up. But not only was he tied with ropes, but his, respected, uncle was also pressed on his back. At this time, Li Feng was like a helpless earthworm, constantly squirming on the ground, but still unable to make any progress. Looking at Zhang Chuan who was slowly walking up to him and squatting down with a big hammer in his hand, Li Feng shouted in fear. I, I remember that all my things are in my universe ring. As soon as he finished speaking, he heard a crisp sound of bone cracking. Immediately afterwards, Li Feng saw the big hammer in Zhang Chuan's hand hit his ankle at some point, smashing his ankle to pieces. Ah, after Li Feng hesitated for a second, he screamed miserably. Seeing this, Zhang Chuan hit Li Feng's mouth with a hammer again, frowning and saying. Shut up, my hands were too fast just now, please bear with me. Li Feng's teeth were smashed to the point where only seven or eight were left. 
He even swallowed the broken teeth without noticing, and his whole mouth was bleeding. Facing Zhang Chuan with such brutal methods, Li Feng really swallowed the broken teeth in his stomach and did not dare to scream no matter how painful it was. Li Dao, who was still pretending to be dead, was so frightened by the scene in front of him that he was afraid that he would be next. Luo Yue kept her expression straight. She had seen this kind of scene too many times in her previous life. She even felt that Zhang Chuan's current skills still need to be improved. If she were allowed to do it, Li Feng would not be as simple as being hit by a big hammer. Under Li Feng's frightened gaze, Zhang Chuan asked calmly, take out all your universe ring fingers. Then he shifted his gaze to Li Dao, and suddenly reached out and patted the other person's head. And you, don't pretend to be dead, take them all out. The reason why Zhang Chuan didn't pick off the universe ring on his opponent's finger was to let them take it out themselves. I just know that people like Li Feng and Li Dao who have been in high positions for many years will not have only one universe ring on them. After a moment, Zhang Chuan looked at the six universe rings in his hand and nodded with satisfaction. He turned around and handed the six universe ring fingers to Luo Yue's hand, and said calmly, you should keep these universe ring fingers first, and treat them as Qing Feng sect's apology to you. Luo Yue didn't look at Zhang Chuan after hearing this. She raised her head and her eyes were a little wandering. It was embarrassing to say that she had just lied casually before, but Zhang Chuan really found the other party to take out his anger. To be honest, Luo Yue felt a little embarrassed now that she was gifting the other party's property to herself. Thank you, senior brother Zhang. Luo Yue took the universe ring without any hesitation and put it into her pocket, smiling sweetly. She took a quick glance just now and saw that there were at least 50,000 spiritual stones in it, and countless miraculous elixirs. With these resources, she doesn't have to worry about her future training from the four pole to dragon transformation. Seeing their belongings being pocketed by Luo Yue, Li Feng and Li Dao's eyes suddenly darkened, and they fainted again without taking a breath. The two of them were so frustrated that they couldn't fight or run. He didn't even do anything. Not only was he kidnapped and tortured by Zhang Chuan Wuhua, but he also had all his wallets emptied. Seeing this scene, Zhang Chuan shrugged, and with a move of his right hand, he retracted the ropes tied to the two soldiers, and then left side by side with Luo Yue without looking back. Before leaving, he did not silence the two unconscious people, but only activated the consciousness cutting technique to cut off their consciousness. Li Feng and Li Feng will probably spend the rest of their lives in a state of insanity. Walking on the streets of the royal city, Zhang Chuan looked at the deserted streets and felt confused. From time to time, there would be a few people carrying benches and running excitedly in a certain direction. They even saw two people carrying an old man who was over a hundred years old walking quickly on the street. The old man on their shoulders was almost knocked out of breath. Seeing this scene, Zhang Chuan became more and more confused. Then he stopped a young man on the side of the road and asked curiously. Where are you going? At first, the young man was angry because he was left behind by being stopped by Zhang Chuan, but when he saw how Zhang Chuan and the others were dressed, his expression immediately calmed down a lot. In his opinion, the two other people must be the young master of some family who came out to hang out with his maid. Maybe you can get a lot of low-grade spiritual stones after answering the other party's questions. Thinking in his mind, the young man pointed in the direction of the palace and said enthusiastically. Young master must have just come to our Daifeng dynasty. Now the entire dynasty knows that our eldest princess has a beautiful and beautiful country, and she is beautiful in the country. Isn't this? The trial for recruiting a son-in-law for the dynasty is about to begin. We common people all want to join in the fun. It would be best if we could get a glimpse of the eldest princess's stunning appearance. Hearing this, Zhang Chuan raised his eyebrows and glanced at Luo Yue calmly. Then he asked the young man, You mean the day when the Daifeng dynasty officially recruits a son-in-law is today? Yes, sir, no one has been able to pass the trial set by the dynasty last month before the Tianji joined news was issued. But today I heard that many young talents from various places have come, and even people from other domains have yes. After receiving a positive answer from the other party, Zhang Chuan couldn't help but narrowed his eyes. Princess of Daifeng Dynasty, isn't she right beside me? 
Why is the recruitment of a son-in-law about to begin, but the other party is still standing here and not leaving? Zhang Chuan couldn't figure it out and didn't want to think about it anymore. His top priority now was to go to the Daifeng Dynasty Palace to send a big gift. Zhang Chuan casually threw a high-grade spirit stone to the young man, and then took Luo Yue towards the palace with the other party's thanks. Halfway through, Zhang Chuan glanced at Luo Yue and asked meaningfully, Junior sister Luo, have you forgotten something? After hearing this, Luo Yue turned to look at Zhang Chuan with confusion on her face. Forgot something, could it be that Zhang Chuan wanted him to take him into the palace to find someone? But she herself is the eldest princess. Luo Yue blinked and thought for a moment, then pretended to have a sudden realization and said, Ah, it's been a while since I went back to see my father. Hearing this, Zhang Chuan nodded secretly in his heart. Although the other party's words made him feel that the answer was wrong, it would be fine as long as the other party could return to the palace and show up as the eldest princess. After all, his next plan of forcible marriage and robbery will inevitably involve the participation of the eldest princess. Zhang Chuan suddenly stopped and said calmly, I suddenly remembered that I still have something to deal with. Junior sister Luo, please go to the palace to find your father first and say hello to him for me. After saying that, he turned around and flew away without waiting for Luo Yue's response. Luo Yue below looked puzzled. Why had she just agreed to go to the palace and now she was leaving alone? After thinking for a while, she shook her head. Forget it, now that I haven't been home for so many years, I just want to talk to my father. Luo Yue murmured in her heart. Although she believed that Du Shuiyun could solve the matter, she always felt a little uneasy in her heart. As time goes by, the sun gradually climbs down from the treetops, reflecting the fiery red sunset. The square outside the palace was crowded with people, and a huge arena was set up in the center. The arena was already surrounded by a dense crowd of people within a hundred meters radius. The final stage of the Daifeng Dynasty's son-in-law recruitment trial is the competition on the ring. At this time, the battle in the ring was about to come to an end. Within three seconds, one person was beaten until he vomited blood and flew out of the ring. At the same time, the surrounding crowd burst into applause and cheers. As expected of Zhuang Quan, who is ranked 99 on the prodigy list, he defeated his opponent so easily. I heard that the master behind Zhuang Quan is a strong man at the peak of the king realm. It's a pity. I heard today that Li Feng, who is number 79 on the prodigy list, has also come to the royal city. If he can come to participate, there will be nothing wrong with Zhuang Quan. What's the matter? Didn't Li Feng not come? Now that Zhuang Quan has won the first place, the position of the eldest princess's husband has been confirmed. At this time, a tall, muscular man stood on the ring in the center of the square. This person is the Zhuang Quan mentioned by everyone. Now the joy on his face is getting stronger and his fists can't help but clenched in excitement. Originally he was just on his way to the royal city of the Daifeng dynasty, but by chance, he saw someone taking out the portrait of the eldest princess in a restaurant. He was also quite accomplished in painting. With just one glance, he could tell that the portrait was made using the technique of heart carving. The so-called method of heart engraving is to depict the deepest things in a person's heart with paintings. This shows that the woman in that painting definitely exists. At that time, it was just a quick glance, and Zhuang Quan felt that he was deeply involved in it, and he could not help but fall in love with the woman in the painting. He even forgot everything about what his master told him, and rushed all the way to the palace to participate in the trial. Now that his dream was about to come true, he felt a little elated for a moment. Less than a moment later, a soft and sharp voice reached the ears of everyone present. The eldest princess has arrived. As soon as the words fell, the crowd in the square suddenly became chaotic, constantly trying to squeeze to the front to see the true face of the eldest princess. The surrounding guards who were responsible for maintaining the order of the crowd were extremely busy for a while. The crazy crowd almost made their guard team of nearly a hundred people unable to support themselves. Under the expectant eyes of everyone, a jade foot as white as snow slowly stepped across the threshold in front of the palace gate. At this time, Luo Yue had already taken off her disguise for many years and put on a smoke-satin moonlight skirt, and her whole temperament was instantly sublimated. 
Her brows are as light as autumn water, and her jade muscles are accompanied by the breeze. Her beautiful face is like a gift from heaven, like a fairy who has fallen into dust, but when she looks back, she can surpass the stars. Coupled with her perfect figure in golden proportions, Luo Yue has become the focus of the entire palace at this moment. That portrait is actually real. How could there be such a perfect woman in the world? It is said that Lu Zyer of the Lu family is the most beautiful woman in Eastern Continent. I think the position of the most beautiful woman will change hands from today on. Oh my god, how can such a peerless and beautiful woman take advantage of that boy Zhuang Quan? I don't agree. After seeing Luo Yue's stunning beauty, the crowd instantly became agitated, and the collision formed a crowded scene. But even so, there are still people who insist on not blinking, as if they are afraid that the fairy in front of them will fly away on the clouds in the blink of an eye. At this moment, it seems that there is only one sentence that can describe this eldest princess. There is no such thing as a statue in the whole world. They have been born for thousands of years. There was no emotion at all on Luo Yue's beautiful and flawless face. She seemed not to hear the praises of the people around her, and she always looked straight ahead. The fiery red light reflected on Luo Yue's face, adding to the breathtaking feeling. It's almost over, why hasn't Elder Du shown up yet? Luo Yue thought in her heart. Behind her, Prince Feng, wearing a black and red dragon robe, walked towards her with his hands behind his back. Prince Feng looks just middle-aged on the surface, but the other person's actual age is already several hundred years old. If you look closely, you can see a trace of old age between his eyebrows. As the king of a country, King Feng was naturally blessed by the dragon energy of the country. Just while walking, there is a burning and domineering aura, showing no anger and self-power. Prince Feng stopped next to Luo Yue and whispered, Yue, my father will not harm you. After saying that, he looked admiringly at Zhuang Quan who was on the ring not far away. In fact, the original rule set by King Feng was to decide the top three in the ring, and then he would personally select one of them as his son-in-law. Previously, the person he recognized most for being selected was actually Li Feng from the Qingfeng sect, but strangely, the other party did not attend today. Without Li Feng, looking at the entire palace, only Zhuang Quan's background was deep enough. Although the opponent's master is just an independent cultivator, his level of strength has reached the peak of the king realm. He also made a name for himself in the Baji domain and created his own boxing technique, which was called the Seven Fist Taoist. Seeing that the opponent became more and more courageous as he fought, King Feng ordered the final candidate to be decided directly in the ring. Although Li Feng did not appear, Zhuang Quan was a good choice for him. By then, with the full support of Kifan Taoist, he will be 100% sure to win the Daxing dynasty. He really wanted his daughter to marry into the nine great families, but he knew that the possibility of such a thing was as low as someone saying that he broke into the emperor realm overnight. Even if Luo Yue can really join the nine aristocratic families, she will still not be taken seriously because of her beauty but no strength. It is better to achieve mutual benefit and achieve a win-win situation with the second-class people. Luo Yue remained silent on the sidelines. She knew in her heart that her father was determined to marry her to someone else. King Feng raised a hand to signal the restless people below to calm down, and then said with a smile on his face. Today is the engagement day of my daughter Luo Yue. I have promised before that if anyone can pass the test I set, I will bet off my daughter to him and give him an earth weapon as a gift. Since I have said it, I will naturally not break my promise. Then Prince Feng waved his hand and continued, send it up. As King Feng finished speaking, a short old man dressed as an eunuch came to Zhuang Quan holding a huge wooden box in his hands. On the other side, Zhuang Quan excitedly took the wooden box, raised his hand and said respectfully. Your Majesty, Prince Feng, I have been in love with the eldest princess for a long time, and I want to arrange the marriage between the two of us as soon as possible. It was really because Luo Yue's appearance fascinated him so much that he was afraid that something would happen in the future. When King Feng heard this, he clapped his hands and said with a smile, Okay, okay. I really admire Xiao Yu Zhuang, then you too will. Before King Feng could finish his words, a sword sound suddenly sounded in the sky, pouring into the ears of everyone present indiscriminately. Everyone quickly covered their ears and looked up at the sky. 
A tall and beautiful woman in red was seen descending from the sky towards the palace at high speed on a sword. This person is Du Shuiyin who promised Luo Yue to put pressure on the Daifeng dynasty, but now she is late. The flying sword under her feet stopped in midair 10 meters above the ground. Under everyone's doubtful eyes, Du Shuiyin said calmly, Prince Feng, why don't you just ask your daughter about such a big matter? After hearing this, King Feng's expression changed and his eyes couldn't help but narrow. Being both monks in King Realm, he naturally recognized Du Shuiyin. The other party's evil reputation was resounding among her peers in Dongzhou back then. She had cut down as many as 800 men with her sword. With a wave of his hand, a soundproof barrier instantly enveloped the four of them. Prince Feng knew that Du Shuiyin's strength was terrifying, so he squeezed out a smile and said, What does Fairy Du mean by this? My daughter naturally agrees to this marriage. I disagree. As Luo Yue's objection sounded, the expression on Prince Feng's face froze, and he turned to look at Luo Yue in surprise. He didn't expect that his daughter would dare to disobey him after returning from traveling for several years. Yue, you have to think about it, my father is doing all these things for your own good. Prince Feng comforted her again. Hearing this, Luo Yue glanced at Prince Feng, shook her head and said lightly. Father, do you think I really don't know your true thoughts? Then she sighed. I will not marry him today. I know what I am doing. After the words fell, Luo Yue tapped her toes and flew into the air to Du Shuiyin's flying sword. Du Shuiyin's eyes swept across Luo Yue's beautiful profile, and she couldn't help but chuckle. I didn't expect that this is your true appearance, Yue. No wonder that boy Zhongchuan is so interested in you. Even a woman like me is a little tempted. Hearing the other party mention Zhang Chuan, Luo Yue remembered that Zhang Chuan had been away for some time and had not shown up yet. She couldn't help but think of what Zhang Chuan said to her yesterday, with a complicated expression. At this moment, Zhuang Quan felt the most aggrieved. He didn't even say a word just now, but the fairy in his dream who had agreed to be engaged to him not only refused the engagement the next second, but also got together with a strange woman who appeared out of nowhere. Zhuang Quan was simmering with anger in his heart at this time. He took a step forward and said, Your Majesty, Prince Feng, you personally promised to betroth the eldest princess to me before. What do you mean now? Prince Feng had no intention of paying attention to Zhuang Quan at this time, and stared at Du Shuiyin for a moment. He knew in his heart that the other party, as the chief elder of the Kangyuan Sword Sect's criminal law hall, had the absolute greatest power except for the Kangyuan Sword Sect leader and the two elders. Prince Feng didn't know how his daughter got involved with the woman Du Shuiyin during those years of traveling. But today he must not let the other party mess up the engagement. King Feng tried hard to suppress the anger in his heart, forced out an ugly smile and said, Shanzi Du, this is my family matter. Do you, Kangyuan Sword Sect, really want to be so overbearing? Hearing this, Du Shuiyin covered her mouth and smiled, as if she heard a big joke from Prince Feng. What do you mean? Prince Feng frowned and asked in confusion. If he hadn't known Du Shuiyin's status in his heart, he might have called the powerful men in the palace to besiege him. Except for the Zhang family who wanted to take away his daughter's moral integrity back then, he had never been looked down upon so much in his own territory. Du Shuiyin looked at Luo Yue on the side calmly, and asked via voice transmission with her spiritual consciousness. You didn't tell Prince Feng that you joined the Kangyuan Sword Sect. Disciple hasn't had time to say anything yet. When Luo Yue said this, she looked away with a guilty conscience. After hearing the other party's answer, Du Shuiyin nodded secretly. Then she put her hands behind her back and chuckled, who said this matter has nothing to do with my Kangyuan Sword Sect. Luo Yue has long been a disciple of my Kangyuan sword sect, Qinglong Peak. Prince Feng, who was still a little angry, was stunned when he heard this. What did he hear? My daughter, whose bones were taken away from her at birth and whose cultivation talent plummeted, actually joined the Kangyuan sword sect. He knew that a person with Du Shuiyin's status would disdain to tell such lies that could be exposed immediately. King Feng glanced at Zhuang Quan who was still standing on the ring and had been ignored by them for a long time, and for a moment he felt that the opponent was not so pleasing to his eyes. Now that Du Shuiyin has come to put pressure on me in person, it shows that Yue is highly valued in the Kangyuan sword sect, so the engagement is really something that cannot be rushed. 
With Yu Wei's current path to immortality, even if she wants to marry, she can't marry Zhuang Quan. Prince Feng thought for a moment, then looked at Zhuang Quan apologetically and said, Young friend Zhuang, please come back. I still need to think more about the engagement, so just think of that soldier as my compensation for you. Zhuang Quan's face instantly turned red when he heard this. He felt like a clown here, as small as a speck of dust. That's too much. Zhuang Quan raised the wooden box in his hand and threw it on the ground, shouting, The Thirty Years River. But before he could finish his heroic words, he felt as if his sea of consciousness had been cut in half by a sword. The whole person lost consciousness instantly and lay straight on the ground. At the same time, a deafening roar of a tiger came from the horizon. The roar of the tiger became louder and louder along with the strong wind that soared into the sky. Everyone below raised their heads and saw a silver-winged sky tiger circling and dancing in the sky dragging a huge carriage. The moment they saw the silver-winged sky tiger, Du Xuayin and Prince Feng suddenly had a thought in their minds. Zhang family, how could people from the nine great families come to live in a small Daifeng dynasty? Everyone in the square exclaimed, could this be the Zhang family's silver sky tiger? What a terrifying power, my legs are weak, help me. Don't people from the Zhang family also want to marry our eldest princess? Amidst the noise, the silver-winged sky tiger flew across the ground like a meteor, suddenly smashed through the soundproof barrier, and broke into the ring in the center of the square. A terrifying vibration sounded, and the entire arena was almost shattered by the impact. The fragments on the surface of the arena were mixed with dust and flew in the air. Everyone narrowed their eyes, and there seemed to be confusion, curiosity, and more shock in their eyes. Under the gaze of everyone, a handsome young man with sharp eyebrows and starry eyes slowly walked out of the carriage. He was dressed in white clothes, with an outstanding figure and grace, just like a banished immortal who was not stained by the world of mortals. Seeing the visitor, Luo Yue secretly said something bad. Didn't the other party hear what Du Xuayin said before? On the other side, Du Xuayin asked, Zhang Chuan. While speaking, she looked at Luo Yue intentionally or unintentionally, with curiosity in her eyes. As for King Feng, his face became ugly after he repaired the damaged sound insulation barrier. He still remembers the scene when Zhang Xiren of the Zhang family rode the silver-winged sky tiger to the palace. Zhang Chuan's appearance just now was almost exactly the same as Zhang Xiren's back then. They are all so domineering and unreasonable. The shadow left by Zhang Xiren on him back then was too deep. Now that he saw someone from the Zhang family again, he subconsciously took a few steps back like a frightened bird. In the arena, after Zhang Chuan got off the hearse, he didn't find anyone immediately. Instead, he lowered his head and glanced at Zhuang Quan, who was pressed into the ring by the hearse. At this time, the opponent was pressed to the ground by the silver sky tiger and the weight of the entire carriage, but he was not killed on the spot. However, Zhuang Quan's sense of presence was a bit pitiful. There was suddenly a person missing in the ring, and no one reacted. Under the close feeling, Zhang Chuan could also detect the other party's gradually weaker breathing. Just now, Zhuang Quan suddenly shouted the counterattack slogan, 30 years to the east of Hedong, 30 years to the west of Hexi, don't bully young people into poverty. Zhang Chuan couldn't hold back and launched the Zanxiju to wipe out the opponent's consciousness on the spot. Zhang Chuan didn't dare to bet on whether the other party could counterattack after shouting slogans. It would be better to kill them on the spot. Anyway, the system in his body is not a villain, so there is no need to scheming with others to raise leaks. It is enough for him to have a small money tree that will be returned 10,000 times. Then Zhang Chuan slowly moved his eyes towards Luo Yue and the others. What surprised him was that Luo Yue could still be related to Du Xuayin, the chief elder of the criminal law hall. It can only be said that she is worthy of the connections of the daughter of luck. She has managed to get a chief elder within a few days of joining the sect. Then if we stay for one year, won't the Kangyuan sword sect have the final say in the future? But what shocked him the most was Luo Yue's peerless beauty at this moment, and he decided that after the matter was over, he must burn the portrait and find someone to make a new one. Master Nephew Zhang, are you here to find someone? Du Xuayin asked pointedly. That's right. Zhang Chuan nodded, stared at Luo Yue with a deep gaze, and said calmly, I'm here to see junior sister Luo. When Zhang Chuan said this sentence, 
he specially emphasized the word, Junior Sister Luo, and at the same time, the corner of his mouth showed a hint of a smile. Luo Yue couldn't help but pursed her lips when she heard this, secretly thinking something was wrong. She had just heard something wrong in Zhang Chuan's tone, and it was obvious that the other party had noticed something wrong with her disguised identity. Du Xuein glanced back and forth between the two of them several times, then smiled. Well, junior brother Zhang, you are late. I have helped Yu Wei handle everything here. Zhang Chuan shrugged his shoulders and shook his head with a smile, no, it's just the right time. Under everyone's doubtful gazes, he continued with a straight face, I'm here to propose marriage today. As soon as these words came out, the three people, including Luo Yue, couldn't help but widen their eyes. What did they just hear? Zhang Chuan wants to propose marriage to Luo Yue and himself. Luo Yue felt that the current situation was beyond her control. What happened to Zhang Chuan? Is this the compensation he said that night? Then she would rather not have this kind of compensation. But Zhang Chuan didn't care what a few people thought. At this moment, a cyan pendant appeared out of thin air in his palm. Since it is a marriage proposal, it is natural that the betrothal gift cannot be missing. This is a heaven-grade protective jade pendant, as well as 200,000 high-grade spiritual stones and an eighth-grade elixir, I wonder what His Majesty King Feng wants. As he spoke, Zhang Chuan took out another universe ring and put the pendant in it, then flicked his fingers and put it into Prince Fang's hands without hesitation. This. Prince Fang's hands holding the universe ring couldn't help but tremble. The three things Zhang Chuan mentioned, no matter which one, are extremely valuable and can give the immortal cultivation world monks a great opportunity to win. Prince Fang almost blurted out his words of approval, but when he thought of the Zhang family's past atrocities, he felt uncertain. Now that my daughter has a peerless appearance and a high level of talent, are she still afraid that she will not be able to find a child from a big family in the future? Prince Feng sighed softly. Master Zhang, I still need to think about this matter for some time. Please take these things back. After saying this, King Feng made a show of handing the universe ring finger back to Zhang Chuan. But Zhang Chuan seemed to ignore Prince Feng's words and just stood there with his hands behind his back, showing no intention of reaching out to take it. Ha, huh, if you take something that belongs to me, you can't pay it back if you want. Zhang Chuan sneered in his heart. Zhang Chuan shook his head and said calmly, Prince Feng, I think you have misunderstood me. I am just informing you about the marriage proposal. Whether you agree or not has nothing to do with me. Now that you have accepted the betrothal gift, can I take what you just said as a provocation to my Zhang family? King Feng's heart tightened when he heard this, and he hurriedly winked at the guard leader not far away. The other party understood immediately and began to order his guards to disperse the people watching in the square. After the crowd dispersed, King Feng exhaled and said with a smile. Mr. Zhang, I am actually very open-minded. If there is anything we can discuss. In King Feng's view, Zhang Chuan's domineering character was exactly the same as that of his father. He knew that if he had any intention of refusing just now, the other party would definitely overthrow his Daifeng dynasty. Luo Yue on the side suddenly frowned slightly. She was a client and no one asked her opinion. Just when she was about to refuse, Zhang Chuan's voice suddenly sounded in her mind. Junior sister Luo, you don't want your marriage to be tied up in a small dynasty, right? My proposal of marriage today is fake. As long as you accompany me to finish this drama, you can be settled once and for all from now on, isn't it good? Hearing this, Luo Yue turned her head and met Zhang Chuan's smiling eyes. No wonder he wanted to propose marriage to her as soon as he showed up. Is this what he really thought? Luo Yue also used her spiritual consciousness to ask, is what you said true? Not bad. Zhang Chuan winked at Luo Yue, but after this is over, you have to accompany me to a place. As for the reason, I will tell you on the way there. As Zhang Chuan's transmission ended, Luo Yue's beautiful eyes turned, seeming to be thinking about the pros and cons. After a moment, she nodded, indicating that she agreed to Zhang Chuan's request. Seeing this, Zhang Chuan smiled, stepped forward and took Luo Yue's slender hand, regardless of Luo Yue's struggle, turned to Prince Feng and said. Prince Feng, you are also a smart man. I know what you are worried about. What happened in the past was that my Zhang family was sorry for Yue. 
But from today on, I dare to swear by the heavenly oath that Yu Wei will become my Zhang Chuan's wife in the future. Whatever Yu Wei needs, I will do my best to find her for her. As he expected, Luo Yu Wei's heartbeat index on the system panel rose directly by 70 points as the heavenly oath was taken. As a result, the heartbeat index has reached minus 10, but obviously the other party still has some doubts about him. After hearing what Zhang Chuan said, Prince Feng and Du Shuiyin were stunned on the spot. Are today's younger generations playing so hard? Guaranteed by the oath of heaven. The practice of a monk is to go against heaven, and after taking the oath of heaven, a breath of the monk's breath will be captured by heaven. If the oath is violated in the future, heaven will really punish him. The more advanced the qualifications and cultivation are, the more severe the punishment will be if a strong person violates the oath of heaven. Monks like them, who have even half stepped into the conferred sovereign realm in the king realm, will not take the oath of heaven easily. As for a monster genius like Zhang Chuan, if he were punished by heaven, the scene would definitely be described as terrifying. When Prince Feng reacted, his expression instantly turned from worry to joy, and his gaze towards Zhang Chuan became even more appreciative. With Zhang Chuan's guarantee, the Daifeng dynasty was able to rely on the Zhang family's strong thigh. It is absolutely certain that the Daifeng dynasty will be promoted to the dynasty in the future. The other side, Luo Yue's little hand, which was still struggling in Zhang Chuan's palm, stopped and turned her head to look at Zhang Chuan in surprise. Does he know what he is talking about? Didn't we agree to act in a drama before? How could anyone use the oath of heaven as a joke? At this moment, Luo Yue tried hard to calm down her chaotic mood, reminding herself in her heart. Zhang Chuan asked for this all by himself. Now that I have his handle, I can not only profit from it, but it will never be too late to deal with him whenever I want in the future. Although she thought so in her heart, in reality Luo Yue still pretended to be happy and leaned on Zhang Chuan's shoulder, as if the two had been in love for many years. Seeing the two of them cuddling together, Prince Feng felt indescribably happy. If he had known earlier that Zhang Chuan would be so devoted to his daughter, what kind of marriage would he have planned? Mr. Zhang, from now on, this child Yu Wei will be entrusted to you. She has been working hard to be independent since she was a child, so I have always been very concerned about her lifelong affairs. Now my wish can be considered fulfilled. As he spoke, Prince Feng's smile grew brighter, and he calmly put the betrothal gift given to him by Zhang Chuan into the ring. Zhang Chuan glanced at the other party, nodded and said calmly, Yu Wei is almost passing the gate of my Zhang family now, so I will call you Uncle Luo. You don't have to be so restrained in front of me. Just call me Xiao Chuan. Don't worry, I will take good care of Yu Wei. Zhang Chuan could naturally hear the meaning of what Prince Feng just said. He obviously wanted to tell him that the Daifeng dynasty, as Luo Yu Wei's natal family, had paid a lot, and he hoped that he could secretly support the Daifeng dynasty. After all, the entire Daifeng dynasty was within the jurisdiction of the Zhang family, and one-tenth of the treasury revenue had to be used as tribute to the Zhang family every year. And Zhang Chuan's reply just now was a disguised agreement to the other party's request. To Zhang Chuan, this wasn't even a small matter, it was just a matter of words. After hearing Zhang Chuan's answer, Prince Feng was immediately delighted, clapped his hands and said. Okay, 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 then Zhang, Xiao Chuan, why don't you stay and have a drink with me today? Just when Zhang Chuan wanted to shake his head and refuse, there was another sound in the sky above the palace. Who killed my disciple? Prince Feng, if you don't give me an explanation, I will demolish your palace. The visitor was dressed in a grey robe, with messy white hair flying in the wind. If it weren't for the King Realm aura that the other party was wearing, Zhang Chuan would have thought that the other party was a beggar who ran out of the bridge hole. However, the old man suddenly appeared in Daifeng Palace, and his identity was self-evident. Only Zhuang Quan died today, and Zhuang Quan's master was the famous Seven Fist Taoist and independent cultivator. After everyone heard the angry shouts of Kifan Taoist, they remembered that Zhuang Quan who was originally present seemed to be missing. After looking around, Prince Feng and the others didn't even see Zhuang Quan's figure or even his hair. Prince Feng looked puzzled and asked, Zhuang Quan is dead. How did he die? He remembered that Zhuang Quan was still standing on the ring and was fine. Thinking in his mind, King Feng once again moved his sight to the ring, 
where there was only a silver wing sky tiger quietly licking its paws, and the broken ring beneath the silver wing sky tiger. Seeing this scene, King Feng suddenly thought of something and turned his head suddenly to look at Zhang Chuan. I saw the other party picking out his ears unhurriedly, and said calmly, are you talking about the guy in the ring? What a coincidence, the silver wing Tianyu accidentally crushed him to death when he landed just now. Luo Yuwei and three others on the side. After all, Master Zhuang Quan is also a strong man at the peak of the king realm. To be able to tell the story of the murder in such an understatement in front of his master is probably something only a saint from a noble family like Zhang Chuan can do. Seven Fist Taoist heard Zhang Chuan's arrogant tone, his face suddenly turned red and he became furious. Zhuang Quan is the only disciple he has accepted in nearly a thousand years of cultivation. He has long been prepared to pass on his mantle to the other party, but unexpectedly, now he has a white-haired person and a black-haired person. Suffer death for me. Seven Punch Taoist was so angry that he punched Zhang Xuanzang on the spot regardless of his identity as a family member. Immediately afterwards, the spiritual energy in the sky suddenly condensed into a big fist that covered the sky and the sun, and bombarded everyone in Zhangchuan. The power seemed determined to kill Zhangchuan here. Prince Feng and Du Shuiyin took a step forward at the same time, but were stopped by Zhang Chuan. You two don't need to take action, it's just a little fly, just throw it out. Zhang Chuan said calmly. Du Shuiyin and the two felt the terrifying fist coming from above their heads, and couldn't help but look solemn in their eyes. The Seven Fist Taoist is the same as them, and they are all at the peak of the king realm. Where did Zhang Chuan get the confidence to block the opponent's punch alone? The messy airflow above his head made Zhang Chuan's hair fly, but at this moment, his expression remained unchanged and he just said lightly. Old Wu. As Zhang Chuan finished speaking, Mr. Wu's figure appeared from nowhere and passed before everyone's eyes in an instant. During the time when Zhang Chuan and Luo Yuwei were separated, he went back to Kang Yuan's sword sect and called Mr. Wu to accompany him secretly. Under the shocked gazes of Du Shuiyin and the other two, they saw him slowly stretching out two fingers and pointing towards the huge fist that was about to come over his head. Facing the fist that blocked the sky and the sun, Mr. Wu was like a little ant who was being slaughtered. But the next moment, the terrifying fist condensed by spiritual energy was instantly shattered under Mr. Wu's finger and dissipated in the air. The huge air wave generated by the collision between the two almost lifted the silver wing sky tiger and the hearse together. Everyone in Zhangchuan opened the spiritual energy shield in time to avoid being affected. Seven Fists Taoist looked down at Mr. Wu who suddenly appeared. His eyes narrowed, and cold light shot out from time to time. Are you a lackey of the Zhang family? If you stop me today, I will kill you too. After saying seven punches, Taoist punched out quickly with both fists, a total of six punches, and the power of each punch seemed to be gradually increasing. This is the most proud secret technique of divine ability that he created many years ago, seven battle fist. With each punch, his own punch power will increase by 30%. As for the final seventh punch, he could even hit three times as much damage as the first punch. Seven Fist Taoist relied on this seven fighting fist to become famous in the Baji realm. Noisy. When Mr. Wu saw this scene, his face remained expressionless, and he just said coldly. Then he flipped his right hand and slowly pushed it in the direction of the Seven Fist Taoist. Suddenly, the sky and the earth changed color, and the originally red sunset glow turned dark as ink in an instant after Mr. Wu pushed it out with his palm. The entire sky began to surge like water, and then a huge black hand broke through the clouds and appeared in front of everyone. At the same time, a sovereign aura came towards the seven-fisted Taoist below. Wah, what? Kifin Taoist exclaimed. The power is like the arrival of a real emperor, Dao monarch, and everything in the world will bow down. Seven Fists Taoist's pupils shrank, his eyes showed a look of fear, and at the same time his face suddenly changed, he turned around and ran away into the distance. But how could Mr. Wu let the other party get his wish? He took one step forward and shrunk to an inch before arriving in front of Kifin Taoist. Immediately after seven punches, Taoist didn't even have a chance to react, and was slapped in the chest by Mr. Wu. That powerful and heavy palm broke through the aura shield in front of the opponent without any hindrance, and his chest was even dented inward. Seven Punch Taoist felt a sweet sensation in his throat, 
raised his head and a mouthful of blood spurted out, and he flew backwards. And the direction in which he flew upside down happened to be the palm of the dark giant palm. No, accompanied by the screams of the seven-fist Taoist, the giant black palm quickly closed and slowly swallowed it. This scene lasted for nearly a minute before the giant black palm gradually dissipated, and the body of seven-fist Taoist also fell freely from the sky and landed on the ground of the square. I saw that not a single piece of flesh and blood on the corpse was intact, as if some corrosive liquid had been poured into the whole body, and the entire corpse could only be described as riddled with holes. Seeing this scene, several people, including Zhang Chuan, couldn't help but swallow their saliva. Kill King Realm Peak in one move. Now even if they think about it on their knees, they all know that Mr. Wu is definitely a conferred sovereign strongman who has reached the imperial realm. That is the top powerhouse who can sweep all dynasties by himself. The Zhang family actually sent a strong conferred sovereign to protect Zhang Chuan. How strong will the overall strength of the Zhang family be? They felt that from today on, they would have to reassess the Zhang family's status among the nine great families. Before everyone could recover, Mr. Wu's figure appeared in front of Zhang Chuan again. He clasped his fists and said in a very respectful voice, Sir, I'm a little late, are you not surprised? Zhang Chuan waved his hand after hearing this, it doesn't matter, but throw that idiot's body out to me as soon as possible and clean it up so as not to scare other people. Mr. Wu lowered his head to accept the order, and then slowly retreated. Zhang Chuan nodded secretly in his heart. Mr. Wu's performance was completely beyond his original expectations. The reason why he stopped Du Shuiyin and Mr. Wu just now was to test the other party's strength as his protector. When he saw it today, Zhang Chuan was extremely satisfied. What is the concept of a protector of the conferred sovereign realm? Take Zhang Chuan's former nemesis Wang Lei as an example. The opponent's protector is at best the king realm's peak strength. The reason why Zhang Chuan did not kill Wang Lei on the spot was because he was worried that Mr. Wu would not be able to suppress the defenders behind Wang Lei. In other words, now that he has the protection of Mr. Wu, he can definitely walk sideways among his peers. However, what intrigued Zhang Chuan the most was his cheap dad. Mr. Wu has now exposed the cultivation of conferred sovereign realm, so his father. Maybe Zhang Xiren is the one who hides the deepest. Then Zhang Chuan turned to look at Prince Feng on the side, and said with a slightly apologetic smile. Uncle Luo, it seems that your palace is going to be renovated. I will definitely accompany you when you have time to drink. As for Yu Wei, she has to accompany me back to the Zhang family to meet my parents and clan elders. After saying this, he felt the little hand in his palm tremble slightly, followed by a tingling sensation. Zhang Chuan raised his eyebrows and saw that the other party was scratching the palm of his hand with his nails. At the same time, Luo Yu Wei's beautiful eyes stared at Zhang Chuan, and her spiritual consciousness said, the place you mentioned is going to Yang's house. Didn't you agree that it was just for acting? Stupid woman, if you act, you have to do the whole thing. Zhang Chuan glanced sideways at the other party and said coldly in the same voice. Early next morning, Zhang Chuan and Luo Yuwei had already left the Daifeng dynasty and were on their way to the Zhang family. Because King Feng was too enthusiastic yesterday, Zhang Chuan stayed at Daifeng Palace for one night before setting off today. In the carriage, Zhang Chuan rubbed his face in front of the bronze mirror, looked at Luo Yue behind him through the bronze mirror, and asked intentionally or unintentionally. What would you do if someone pretended to be someone and deceived you multiple times? Luo Yue glanced at Zhang Chuan calmly, and then sat down at the tea table. She didn't seem to want to answer the conversation. Why, should I call you Luo Yue now, or Junior Sister Yang? Zhang Chuan turned around with his hands behind his back and sneered at Luo Yue. He felt that at this time, the two of them were rushing to get married, so it was better to clarify the matter now. He didn't need to worry too much about the other party's disguised identity afterwards. As long as you tie the opponent to your side, your cultivation progress will definitely skyrocket like a rocket. The oath of heaven that Zhang Chuan made yesterday was to cater to his own system. It not only eliminated Luo Yue's doubts, but he might also be able to achieve success once and for all in the future. Luo Yue was silent for a moment, then raised her head to meet Zhang Chuan's slightly scrutinizing eyes. Don't you already know everything? Why bother asking me again? 
Luo Yue said calmly. Although she had already expected it, with Zhang Chuan's meticulous mind, it would be a matter of time before she discovered her disguise. But she didn't expect this moment to come so early. It can only be said that Zhang Chuan's behavior was too unreasonable and completely disrupted her original plan. Hearing this, Zhang Chuan stared at Luo Yue's beautiful side face for a long time, then walked slowly to her side, supported the table with one hand, and held up her chin with the other hand under the other's shocked eyes and said, So junior sister Luo who attended the auction with me yesterday is also you, right? While speaking, Zhang Chuan clasped Luo Yue's chin with his fingers, forcing her to look at him. Luo Yue's eyes averted, and then she slapped Zhang Chuan's hand on her chin away with her palm. Her chest was bulging, her cheeks were a little rosy, and she said in a serious tone. Yes, I disguised my identity and deceived you. Now we are just taking what we need. I don't need to tell you why. But when Luo Yue finished speaking, she suddenly realized something was wrong. Shouldn't she be the one who asked Zhang Chuan what he wanted to do before, but why was she passive now? Hearing this, the corners of Zhang Chuan's mouth raised imperceptibly, and a glimmer of light flashed in his eyes. He seemed to have already guessed that the other party would answer this way, and there was not much emotion in his heart. Zhang Chuan rubbed the back of his hand that Luo Yue had slapped, then turned around and walked to the opposite side to sit down. Zhang Chuan waved his hand, and the teapots in front of them immediately flew into the air, filling the teacups in front of them respectively. Zhang Chuan held the mouth of the cup between his two fingers and picked it up, saying with a smile in his eyes. Very good, I appreciate your frankness, then I wish us a happy cooperation. After saying that, he raised the teacup in front of Luo Yue. Wait a minute, I have another question. Luo Yue frowned slightly at this moment, her eyes were fixed on Zhang Chuan in front of her, and she had no intention of raising a glass. Why are you in such a hurry to get married? Hearing this, Zhang Chuan slowly put down his teacup and said calmly under the other party's gaze. Originally, I wanted to tell you this matter after returning to the clan, but since you ask now, it doesn't hurt if I tell you earlier. The reason for this is that my Zhang family's ancestral land is about to be opened, and as the holy son of the Zhang family, of course I must participate. But there is an unwritten rule in my Zhang family's ancestral land. All disciples who enter the ancestral land to practice must be accompanied by a Taoist companion. Otherwise, even as my holy son, they will not be able to enter the ancestral land to practice. If you still want to ask why I came to you on such an important occasion as the ancestral land trial. I think I made my thoughts very clear that night. At that time, you only need to accompany me into the ancestral land. You don't need to worry about anything else. Luo Yue nodded when she heard this. She had heard about it in her previous life when she was in the Zhang family's ancestral land. It's just that at this time in her previous life, she was just an ordinary person in the Lunhai realm and had no relationship with Zhang Chuan at all. Zhang Chuan could tell all the reasons for the matter, which made her feel relieved. On the contrary, if the other party is hiding it, Luo Yue will think that the other party is too hypocritical. The combination of purpose and interests between the two is the cornerstone of long-term cooperation. Master Zhang is also a frank person. Luo Yue pursed her lips and smiled. Then she smiled and raised the teacup in front of her and continued. Then it will be a pleasure to cooperate. Zhang Chuan's previous request was just a formality for her, and there was no difficulty at all. This marriage definitely has more advantages than disadvantages for Luo Yue. Coupled with the protective umbrella of Zhang Chuan, even if she walks outside in her true appearance in the future, she will have less trouble. This kind of thing is definitely a sure profit for Luo Yue. A pleasure to work with. Zhang Chuan's lips curved into a smile, and then he also raised his teacup and touched it with the other party. Although Luo Yue's initiative to raise a glass and agree to cooperate just now made Zhang Chuan a little curious, but generally speaking, these were within his expectations. Two people with different agendas magically ended up on the same boat. The Baji domain has been the richest region among the five regions of eastern continents since ancient times. Three of the nine most powerful families in the world are located in the Baji domain. Among them were the Zhang family, the Ning family and the Wang family where Zhang Chuan was located. 
There is no distinction between the three families, and the territory under their jurisdiction is extremely vast, with endless creatures and a vast ocean. Baji Domain, Zhang Family As the top family in Dongzhou, if one traces its history, the Zhang family even gave birth to two supreme great emperors. As for why the emperor weapon of the Zhang family only has a weapon seal, it is because there are rumors that the second person in the history of the Zhang family, also known as the emperor, Yin Ling, fought seven times in and seven out ten thousand years ago. The great immortal Forbidden Zone claims to be a unique genius that has been around for thousands of years. This silver spirit great emperor is even more confident that he can defeat all enemies in the world with his own fists. When he became emperor, he did not choose to sacrifice his emperor weapon, but instead refining the Wenchen seal and integrating his own imperial laws into it. The Zhang family did not refute or agree with this statement, and always remained silent. This also makes most people in the world think that there is another emperor weapon hidden in the Zhang family. After all, the law that there are two great emperors in one emperor weapon has never been heard of by ordinary people. At this moment, Hundreds of silver-winged tigers in the Zhang family roared in unison, and the roar seemed to penetrate the sky and shatter the mountains and forests. Upon hearing this, all the younger generations of the Zhang family put down what they were doing and arrived outside the main hall of the family as quickly as possible. Even though they were doubtful, they did not dare to ignore the clan's summons. Just as everyone was looking left and right, a deafening roar of a tiger suddenly sounded from the top of the clouds. Everyone was stunned for a moment, and then they all raised their heads to look at the sky above their heads. Above the sky, a huge silver-winged tiger was seen, powerfully flapping its flawless white wings, and slowly landed in front of the main hall. When they saw the scar on silver-winged Tianyu's chin, some Zhang family disciples immediately shrank their pupils and exclaimed, The Holy Sun! The Holy Sun is back! No wonder the clan would send out a summon signal! It turns out that our Holy Sun is back! Now that the ancestral land is about to open, do you think the Holy Sun will bring back a Taoist companion this time? Then you still need to ask. When the ancestral land is opened, all the saints of our Zhang family must participate. Amid bursts of cheers, the door curtain on one side of the carriage slowly opened, and Zhang Chuan walked out holding Luo Yue with a calm expression. When everyone saw Luo Yue next to Zhang Chuan, the cheers around them suddenly stopped. They had never seen such a flawless and graceful woman in their whole lives, and they were all fascinated for a moment. Seeing this, Zhang Chuan couldn't help but sigh in his heart. At this moment, Luo Yue's influence was simply more useful than his title of Holy Son. Today the Holy Son of Japan is back to announce something. Starting today, the Holy Son of Japan will be engaged to Luo Yue, the eldest princess of the Daifeng dynasty, and a wedding banquet will be held on a selected day. As Zhang Chuan spoke, he glanced at everyone present one by one. If everyone has not reacted at this moment, they are fools. As long as they were men, whether they were lovers of men or women, they all lowered their heads, not daring to look into Zhang Chuan's cold eyes. Zhang Chuan's status in the Zhang family can be said to be even greater than that of the Kangyuan sword sect. The children of the Zhang family have grown up in the shadow of Zhang Chuan since they were young, and they both fear and admire him. For the younger generation of the Zhang family, sometimes Zhang Chuan's words are even more useful than Zhang Xiren's. If this brings bad luck to Zhang Chuan in the Zhang family, everyone firmly believes that they will not see the sun the next day. After looking at the well-behaved people, Zhang Chuan withdrew his gaze, turned to Luo Yue and smiled. Let's go, I'll take you to meet my parents and the elders of the clan. Luo Yue nodded when she heard this, and then let Zhang Chuan pull her through the main hall and came to a palace called Baihua Palace. I saw a beautiful woman with hair like waterfalls and eyes like autumn water sitting on the main seat of the palace with her legs crossed. However, there was a hint of resentment between his brows, and his red lips were pouted, and he didn't know what he was thinking. This person is Zhang Chuan's biological mother in this world, Lu Jingyu, the current owner of Baihua Valley. When Zhang and Chuan entered the Baihua Palace, Lu Jingyu's expression changed, and her eyes shone with surprise. The corners of her plump lips were raised, and she waved her hand towards Zhang Chuan and said, Xiao Chuan, come here quickly and let mother take a look. Zhang Chuan twitched his lips when he heard this, glanced at Luo Yue beside him, and then walked towards Lu Jingyu. As a result, 
before Zhang Chuan could open his mouth, a refreshing fragrance of flowers came. I saw the other party suddenly stretched out a hand and put it on Zhang Chuan's head and began to rub it. Our Xiaochuan has grown taller. Lu Jingyu stood up and kept moving her hands, I haven't come to Baihua Valley to see my mother for so long. Come on, let me give you a kiss. Hearing this, Zhang Chuan hurriedly waved his hands and whispered, Okay, mother, I came to see you because I have something serious to say. Feeling the hair on the top of his head that was still being slapped by the other party, Zhang Chuan was speechless for a while. In his memory, it seemed that his father was killed by Lu Jingyu's head-slapping attack. He disagreed with Zhang Xiren's strange hobby. Thinking of his cheap dad, Zhang Chuan asked doubtfully, What about dad, why don't you see him with you? Liu Jingyu also knew that Zhang Chuan had always been resistant to her head touching, so he didn't tease him too much afterwards. Upon hearing Zhang Chuan's question, a hint of resentment flashed in her eyes, and she pouted and said, Your father is very busy. If the matter with Kang Yuan's sword sect is not settled, I don't think he will come back. Zhang Chuan had also heard about this. His father had been fighting with the second elder of the Kengyuan sword sect for so many years just to inherit the position of the next sect leader. Although it shows that Zhang Xiren is stronger on the surface, Zhang Xiren is a member of the Zhang family after all. If Zhang Xiren is allowed to become the leader of the Kengyuan sword sect and possess the two major powers of the Holy Land and the aristocratic family at the same time, even if the people in the sect agree, people from other Holy Lands and aristocratic families will not agree. Zhang Chuan didn't know what his father was thinking. No matter what the outcome of this kind of thing was, there would be no benefit. However, Zhang Xiren must have his own reason for doing this. Zhang Chuan felt that after the matter on his side was settled, he could go back to the sect to talk to the other party about the details. Zhang Chuan coughed lightly, then turned his gaze to Luo Yue and said, Mother, I brought Yue back this time. Before he could finish speaking, Lu Jingyu raised her eyebrows and looked along Zhang Chuan's gaze, and then she noticed Luo Yue who had just appeared at the same time as Zhang Chuan. With just one glance, Lu Jingyu felt a sense of shame in her heart, and then her eyes suddenly lit up. She stood up and left Zhang Chuan behind and walked towards Luo Yue. As the owner of Baihua Valley, Lu Jingyu has been exposed to all kinds of beauties all year round, so naturally his requirements for the beauty of his daughter-in-law are also getting higher and higher. It was Zhang Xiren who sent a message to her before that Zhang Chuan would bring a daughter-in-law back before the ancestral land was opened. She just returned from the Peach Blossom domain overnight in a teleportation formation in a hurry. Now when she saw him, she fulfilled all her fantasies about the daughter-in-law in her heart. Lu Jingyu smiled and took Luo Yue's hand. Her eyes kept wandering around the other person, and she felt more and more satisfied. Then she turned her head and glared at Zhang Chuan, and said with a serious face, You brat, you didn't even know how to introduce me to my mother when you brought me here. Zhang Chuan blinked, not knowing what to say. Just now you called yourself Xiaochuan, now you have become a brat. Also, Lu Jingyu didn't give her any time to introduce herself from the moment she walked in. As a result, just when Zhang Chuan was about to speak, Lu Jingyu glanced at Luo Yue again with a kind smile on her face. Child, what is your name? I've met uncle, aunt, my name is Luo Yue. The other party's enthusiastic attitude immediately made Luo Yue a little uncomfortable. Although she was reluctant in her heart, she did not show it physically. After hearing the word, Luo Yue, Lu Jingyu suddenly felt that it was inexplicably familiar, but she couldn't remember where she heard it. Then she didn't think much about it, and looked at Luo Yue with a straight face, pretending to be angry and said, You still call me aunt. Is it time to change your words? As soon as these words came out, Luo Yue's face looked a little unnatural, and then she slowly turned her head to look at Zhang Chuan. Zhang Chuan's mouth curled up and his eyes wandered, with a look of gloating on his face. When Luo Yue saw this scene, she couldn't help but scold Zhang Chuan in her heart. Zhang Chuan never told her that Lu Jingyu would be so enthusiastic before coming here. She was not prepared at all now. She secretly took a deep breath, forced a smile and whispered, Mom. Hearing this, Lu Jingyu smiled, patted the back of Luo Yue's hand with one hand, and said kindly, Hey, Yue, how did you meet our Xiaochuan, and where are you from? This time, 
before Luo Yue could speak, Zhang Chuan answered before her. Yu Wei is the eldest princess of the Daifeng dynasty. As soon as Zhang Chuan said these words, Lu Jingyu was stunned on the spot. No wonder she found the other person's name familiar. It turned out that the other person was the girl whose 3,000 bones were taken away by her son. Zhang Chuan's operation really made Lu Jingyu unable to deal with it. It's not enough to take away the other person's integrity, but now you have to marry the other person as your wife. At this moment, she looked at Luo Yue with a little more pity in her eyes. Lu Jingyu thought to herself, as this child abducted by Xiaochuan. It was noon, the summer sun was scorching the ground, and the intense heat distorted the air. Zhang Chuan stood outside the Baihua Palace, looking up at the full sun hanging high in the sky, feeling complicated for a moment. Just now, Lu Jingyu and Luo Yue avoided him and didn't know what he said. They actually left Zhang Chuan and went to meet the elders of the Zhang family together. Seeing Lu Jingyu and Lu Jingyu walking back hand in hand, talking and laughing, some monks in Zhang Chuan were confused. Zhang Chuan stepped forward to ask Luo Yue for questioning, but Lu Jingyu waved his hand and stopped him. She smiled sweetly. Xiao Chuan, mother still has something to say to Yue. You should go out for a walk first. Zhang Chuan opened his mouth when he heard this. He didn't understand what the two of them were talking about, but Lu Jingyu changed her face at every turn. Why does Luo Yue look like the other person's biological child now? Seeing the pair of willow thin waist swaying away in front of him, Zhang Chuan sighed deeply. Isn't it possible that his mother has already sided with Luo Yue? Zhang Chuan shook his head, frowned and said to himself, Everything is fine, let's go see my second uncle. Zhang Chuan's second uncle Zhang Shuyuan can be said to be Zhang Jiaming's strongest fighter. At the same time, the growth process of his second uncle can be described as a legend. Almost everyone in the Zhang family and Zhang Shuyuan's contemporaries knew that the other party's qualifications in his early years were a mess. Due to his low qualifications, Zhang Shuyuan was often ridiculed and ridiculed by his peers when he was young. Over time, Zhang Shuyuan began to stay at home. Even now, when dealing with family affairs, the other party is like an emperor approving memorials, living alone in his room for a long time. If he were placed in Zhang Chuan's previous life, he would definitely be a proper otaku. As for Zhang Shuyuan's current state, very few people in the Zhang family know. In the past hundred years, rumors about the other party have only appeared in the Tianji joint newspaper issued by Tianji Pavilion. At that time, it was recorded in the Tianji Lianbao that a demon Dao giant who had been hiding for many years flew over the Zhang family in a provocative manner after successfully breaking through to the Saint Realm. You must know that the Zhang family has clearly stipulated that non-Zhang family personnel are strictly prohibited from flying in the skies above the Zhang family. The result can be imagined, Zhang Shuyuan suddenly appeared, and instantly suppressed demon Dao, the strong saint, with a finger from dozens of miles away. This incident made Zhang Shuyuan famous in the first battle. In the end, it was revealed that a certain ancestor of the Zhang family who was hiding behind the scenes personally extended an olive branch to him. To be honest, Zhang Chuan was more curious about this second uncle. In novels, such blockbuster and powerful characters often have unexpected effects. Relying on his memory, Zhang Chuan began to walk towards Qingyuan Palace, where Zhang Shuyuan had lived all year round. The Zhang family is located in the middle of the Baji domain, with towering mountains and peaks reaching into the clouds. When flying over the clouds, looking at the mountaintops emerging from the clouds, Zhang Chuan seemed to have seen a hot pot waiting to be cooked in his previous life. After thinking about it, Zhang Chuan decided to land on the ground. He had not been around Yang's house alone for some time. When he passed by the Zhang family's competition ground on the road, a shrill voice came into his ears. Brother Yu, please spare me. Brother Yu, I owe you the spiritual stones. Give me another week and I will pay them back. Zhang Chuan's eyes passed through the dense crowd and locked on the huge competition stage surrounded by the crowd. A young man with a bruised nose and swollen face and torn clothes was seen kneeling on the ground, his cheeks covered with tears mixed with blood flowing from the wound. Standing in front of the young man was a handsome man wearing a blue robe with gold trim. At this moment, he was looking down at the young man from top to bottom with a playful look on his face, and a cold smile oozed from the corner of his mouth. 
Zhang Chuan had some impression of that handsome man. He was Zhang Yu, his third uncle's son. Although Zhang Yu's qualifications are much different from Zhang Chuan's, Yang's opponent can definitely be said to be outstanding and at the top of the younger generation. What happened today actually happened often in the Zhang family. If Zhang Chuan had not transmigrated to this world, his predecessor might have been one of them. Of course, it must be the one who bullies others. Zhang Yu had a stern look on his face, whipped the young man in front of him to the ground with a side kick, and said with a cold laugh. Zhang Shangming, I will only give you three days to get those 5,000 high-grade spirit stones. If you still fail to get them, I will have all the means to make your life worse than death. Do you understand? Zhang Shangming held his bruised and unconscious right arm with a painful expression. At this moment, he was filled with anger and had nowhere to vent. He clenched his fists, trying to support the ground to get up. But the next moment, Zhang Yu kicked Zhang Shangming in the waist again. The huge force instantly caused Zhang Shangming to vomit blood and roll all the way to the edge of the competition stage. I'm asking you if you understand. Zhang Yu took one step forward, came to Zhang Shangming, and then stepped on his blood-covered cheek. The expression on Zhang Shangming's face was distorted, with emotions of sadness and anger intertwined. He tried hard to open his eyes wide, scanned the surrounding crowd over and over again with expressionless expressions, and finally spoke with difficulty. Ming, understand, this scene was all caught in Zhang Chuan's eyes, and he had no intention of stepping forward to stop it. Looking at the young man who was being stepped on and watched coldly, the corners of his mouth suddenly curved. An idea suddenly came to Zhang Chuan's mind. This person might become a crucial chess piece in his plan in the future. He saw the anger in the other person's eyes. Although the flame was small, a single spark could often start a prairie fire. In the garden behind Qingyuan Palace, Zhang Xuyuan was lying sideways on a recliner with a storybook in his hand. He didn't have the majesty of a temporary talker from a big family. His face is like a crown jewel, his aura is restrained, and he is dressed like a handsome young man in green clothes. At this time, there was a middle-aged man standing opposite him, chattering. Second brother, I think you are can give it a try when it comes to baptism within the ancestral land. His current strength has reached the third layer of dragon transformation realm. Even if it is worse than Agawa, he can still survive the baptism for a while. As he spoke, the middle-aged man looked at Zhang Shuyuan expectantly. Zhang Shuyuan slowly put down his script, still lying on his side, and said calmly to the middle-aged man. Sichi, this matter concerns Yun Ling in the ancestral land. I am just a temporary head of the family. How can I be the master? Hearing this, Zhang Sichi seemed to still not give up. He took a step forward and cupped his hands and said, Second brother, now that the eldest brother has not returned all year round, aren't you always taking care of the affairs of the clan? Besides, with Xiaochuan's strength, it is almost impossible to completely absorb the baptism of Yunling's power. No matter what Yuer says. Before Zhang Sichi could finish speaking, Zhang Shuyuan waved his hand to interrupt him. At this moment, he narrowed his eyes and raised his eyes to look directly at the other person for the first time. That sharp gaze was like an indestructible sword, and the cold light burst out, making Zhang Sichi feel in a trance at a certain moment. Don't mention this matter again, please retreat first. Zhang Shuyuan said calmly. Hearing this, Zhang Sichi's lowered eyes flashed with a hint of gloom, then he nodded in agreement, turned and left the garden. He knew that Zhang Shuyuan was determined to leave all the benefits of his ancestral land to Zhang Chuan, and no matter how hard he tried to persuade him, it would be useless. On the way to leave, Zhang Sichi couldn't help but clenched his fists and said to himself, No matter what I do since I was a child, you have never treated me well. Zhang Xiren, Zhang Shuyuan, I will definitely let you know that I am the one who truly contributes to the Zhang family. On the other side, Zhang Chuan also happened to arrive outside Qingyuan Palace, and bumped into Zhang Sichi who had just come out of the palace. Zhang Chuan glanced at the other party and smiled lightly, long time no see, third uncle. After the words fell, Zhang Sichi just glanced coldly, snorted at Zhang Chuan, and left quickly. Watching the other party leave, the smile on Zhang Chuan's face gradually faded. In his memory, he had very little contact with this third uncle since he was a child. The reason was very simple. 
because the other party was not a direct bloodline of the Zhang family at all, and it was only because of his outstanding talent that he was accepted as the third son by the old man of the Zhang family. Now that they met, Zhang Chuan felt that he really didn't need to be polite to him in the future. He didn't care what Zhang Sichi's identity was, he could clearly feel the hostility in the other person's eyes just now. Turning enemies into friends never existed here in Zhang Chuan. What he liked most was to nip unknown dangers in their cradle. Thinking in his mind, Zhang Chuan had arrived inside Qingyuan Palace, and suddenly a cold male voice sounded in his ears. Come to the garden. Hearing this, Zhang Chuan paused, glanced around the palace interior with a calm expression, and then walked quickly towards the garden. At the same time, there was already a storm in his heart. This is the first time that I have felt like a headless fly after receiving the spiritual power brought by the great perfection of Zanxi Ju. He could naturally tell that the voice in his mind just now was Zhang Shuyuan's spiritual consciousness. But generally speaking, after the spiritual consciousness transmission ends, more or less spiritual power will remain in the air, and it will slowly dissipate after the passage of time. But now with Zhang Chuan's mental strength, he can still sense something even when Mr. Wu is hiding. But just after Zhang Shuyuan's spiritual transmission to him ended, Zhang Chuan couldn't find even a trace of mental power left around him. It can be seen that Zhang Shuyuan is not only extremely powerful, but also has unfathomable mental strength. When Zhang Chuan came to the garden, Zhang Shuyuan resumed his leisurely posture of lying on his side on a recliner with a storybook in hand. Agawa is here, sit down quickly. As Zhang Shuyuan spoke, he flicked the storybook in his hand, and the entire storybook immediately scattered in midair and turned into dense drops of water falling into the flower field. Zhang Chuan looked at Zhang Shuyuan, who was still lying on his side, and then at the endless flower field in front of him, blinked and was silent for a moment and said. So, second uncle, where should I sit? Oh, then you stand. Zhang Chuan, my second uncle is quite humorous. As Zhang Shuyuan's words fell, he slowly sat upright from the recliner, his eyes roaming Zhang Chuan's body unscrupulously. After looking at Zhang Shuyuan for a while, he frowned unconsciously and asked, Xiao Chuan, tell the truth to my second uncle, what state are you in now? Originally, he wanted to check out Zhang Chuan's cultivation achievements in recent years, but just now he just used his mental power to scan the opponent, but only a chaotic void appeared in front of him, and he saw nothing else. Logically speaking, it was only a junior level, and Zhang Shuyuan didn't even need the mental power to explore it. Among the younger generation in the clan, he can see through the other's realm and strength with just one glance. Zhang Chuan looked at Zhang Shuyuan's frown that was getting deeper and deeper. He felt that the other party was not joking, and then he said, Alas, I'm ashamed to say that my current level is only at the peak of the dragon transformation realm, and there is still a gap between me and Ling Tian. He didn't intend to hide it from his second uncle. After all, he was the person who cared about him the most besides his parents. But after Zhang Shuyuan heard the truth told by Zhang Chuan, his brows furrowed even deeper, and then he raised his hand and made a seal towards Zhang Chuan after saying something inappropriate. Seeing this, Zhang Chuan twisted his foot and pushed out the same palm, taking the seal made by the opponent into his hand. As his palms closed, Zhang Shuyuan's attack was gradually exhausted by the power of his body. Even though Zhang Chuan broke up the seal so easily, this blow actually had the power of a full-strength blow from the half-step great power realm. Zhang Chuan could tell that Zhang Shuyuan wanted to test his strength, so he didn't hide any clumsiness in that moment just now and solved it cleanly. Seeing this scene, Zhang Shuyuan's eyes flashed with surprise, and he did not attack Zhang Chuan again. Yes, your current strength is even the third layer of the ordinary powerful realm, and the sky will not be your opponent. Speaking of this, Zhang Shuyuan showed a rare smile. With your current cultivation speed, Xiao Chuan, my second uncle, I have a lot more confidence in you. So what if Ling Tian, you have to understand that the children of our Zhang family are destined to reach the top of the mountain in this troubled world. When Zhang Chuan heard this, he raised his eyes and saw that Zhang Shuyuan had stood up and came to him at some point. There was light flowing in his eyes. He could see the ultimate confidence in those eyes as quiet as dead water. He went through the other party's words over and over in his mind, thinking that there were many secrets in the Zhang family that he didn't understand. Zhang Shuyuan glanced at Zhang Chuan, 
put his hands behind his back and said, Xiaochuan, there is something I need you to do. You need me to do it. Zhang Chuan asked curiously, wondering what exactly Zhang Shuyuan, a super strong man who could suppress the saint realm with one finger, could not do. Yes, I want you to prevent Zhang Yu from getting even a small reward in the ancestral land, can you do it? After Zhang Shuyuan said these words, Zhang Chuan couldn't help but be stunned. Let yourself deal with Zhang Yu. Could it be that his second uncle wanted to attack Zhang Sichi? After thinking for a moment, Zhang Chuan nodded and agreed. Since my second uncle said so, I naturally have no problem. Oh, Xiao Chuan, don't you want to know why? Seeing that Zhang Chuan agreed so quickly, it was Zhang Shuyuan's turn to be curious. Zhang Yu is not comparable to ordinary Zhang family children. With Zhang Sichi as the backstage, Zhang Chuan is very likely to be on the opposite side of him afterwards. Zhang Chuan smiled faintly. There must be a reason why my second uncle did this that I don't know, and I naturally trust my uncle unconditionally. Hearing this, Zhang Shuyuan smiled and shook his head, and couldn't help but take a deep look at Zhang Chuan. On the surface, Zhang Chuan seemed to trust him unconditionally, but what he said just now did not mean that he had left the problem to him. It's okay to tell you this. My eldest brother has been away all these years, and Zhang Sichi has misappropriated the clan's spiritual stones many times, and even put several newly excavated spiritual mines in his own name in recent years. Although he did these things covertly, I had already discovered them clearly. Originally, I just turned a blind eye. But this kind of connivance makes him more and more unscrupulous. I understand that Zhang Sichi is a man with huge ambitions, but his ambition is used in the wrong place. Today, after he proposed that Zhang Yu enter the ancestral land for baptism, but I rejected it, he might arrange for someone to target you in the ancestral land trial, so I will let you attack first and grind it out at the same time. Zhang Sichi's arrogance. At this point, Zhang Shuyuan paused for a while, glanced at Zhang Chuan, and chuckled. But now Xiao Chuan, your strength has given my second uncle a big surprise. Even if I don't talk about this matter, I think you can solve it easily. After saying that, Zhang Shuyuan seemed to have remembered something again. He turned his right hand and handed two dragon and phoenix rings, one gold and one silver, to Zhang Chuan's hand. Zhang Chuan lowered his head and looked at the lifelike golden dragon and silver phoenix carved in his hand, blinked and asked. What is this ring? I heard that you have been engaged to the Daifeng dynasty when you came back this time. According to my guess, there are less than three days left before the opening of the ancestral land. The marriage of the two of you must be delayed, and these two dragon and phoenix rings will everyone needs to wear it when entering the ancestral land. Zhang Shuyuan explained. Hearing this, Zhang Chuan nodded and solemnly put away the ring. Originally, he was thinking about how to prepare for his and Luo Yue's wedding banquet before the opening of the ancestral land during this period. Unexpectedly, Zhang Shuyuan was so thoughtful and had already prepared things for him. Chapter 51 after bidding farewell to Zhang Shuyuan, Zhang Chuan did not return to Baihua Palace, but walked in the opposite direction. Zhang Chuan, as the highest status saint among the younger generation of the Zhang family, naturally has his own separate bedroom. At the speed of his teleportation, within a moment, he arrived in front of a palace called, Mountain and Sea Palace. Entering the hall, Zhang Chuan saw a young man with a bruised nose and swollen face, standing restlessly, standing next to the big stone pillar in the corner. This person is Zhang Shangming, who was beaten by Zhang Yu in the martial arts arena before and asked for the spirit stone. At this moment, his eyes were wandering and he didn't know what he was thinking about. He always stood beside the stone pillar and did not dare to make the slightest move. He had just been beaten by Zhang Yu before, and without doing anything, he was brought here by an old man in black. The other party also told him that it was the Holy Son who was looking for him and asked him to wait here with peace of mind. But how could Zhang Xiongming feel at ease in this situation? Although he is a direct descendant of the Zhang family, he followed his father who had made meritorious deeds from the collateral line and returned to the direct line. His father has been dead for nearly ten years now, and a helpless ordinary tribesman like him has become the target of relief for his direct descendants. For example, Zhang Yu, who had beaten him earlier, had only glanced at the other party's sister on the street, and was severely injured by the other party. He also demanded 5,000 high-grade spiritual stones from him as compensation. 
Now that the Holy Son called him here again, he really couldn't figure out when he provoked their Holy Son. He could still save his life when facing Zhang Yu, but Zhang Chuan might not. The Holy Son has a transcendent status. If he offends someone in the clan, he will deserve it even if he dies. Seeing Zhang Chuan come in, Zhang Xiangming's legs couldn't help but tremble even more, and his voice trembled. Holy, holy son, are you looking for me? Zhang Chuan looked at Zhang Xiangming and said calmly, come with me. After saying that, he walked non-stop to the main seat in the palace and sat down. Seeing this, Zhang Xiangming gritted his teeth and took steps to follow with difficulty. Zhang Chuan looked down at the other party with an expressionless face, and his emotionless gaze made Zhang Xiangming feel more and more uneasy. Zhang Xiangming, a former collateral disciple, 50 words omitted here, I am right. Zhang Chuan said calmly. Hearing this, Zhang Xiangming buried his head even lower and his voice was as low as a mosquito. Yes. Dot yes son. Zhang Chuan put one hand on the armrest and rubbed his chin with his fingertips. He looked at Zhang Xiangming and asked again. Those disciples who bully and beat you in the clan are either their elders with high status or they have excellent talents. And you have neither advantage, that's why you end up in this situation, but are you willing to do so? Zhang Xiangming pursed his lips. He was not a fool. He had been suppressed and bullied by his own clan all year round. Even a clay figure would be angry, let alone a human being of flesh and blood. However, he still had self-knowledge in his heart. He smiled bitterly and said, Holy son, it was all my fault that happened first. It is my own volition to accept punishment and make compensation. Now I am very content to stay in the Zhang family to practice. Quote, Keep your head up. Zhang Chuan's sudden loud shout made Zhang Xiangming tremble and he raised his head in fear. Looking at the blood stains around the opponent's eyes that had not yet been cleaned, Zhang Chuan narrowed his eyes and said word by word. No, you are not satisfied. Even a dog that is kept in captivity and eats refined meat every day will try its best to survive before being slaughtered. This is true for dogs, let alone humans. Zhang Chuan's eyes seemed to be able to see through his heart, which made Zhang Xiangming break into cold sweat on his back. He couldn't help but take a step back. His mouth moved, but he didn't know what to say. Seeing this, Zhang Chuan withdrew his gaze and continued. You know what my status is in the Zhang family. As the Holy Son, I naturally hope in my heart that my fellow clansmen can live in harmony. I, I understand the Holy Son. Zhang Xiangming nodded quickly and responded in a low voice. Hearing this, Zhang Chuan shook his head. No, you don't understand. As the saying goes, a gentleman's revenge is never too late. Revenge when there is hatred, and revenge when there is hatred. If a person forgets all hatred, then he should die quietly. At this point, Zhang Chuan's tone became deep, and at the same time, he flicked his right hand and threw a universe bag at Zhang Xiangming's feet. Think about the excrement of spirit beasts that those people made you eat, and they stepped on your head and spit on you. Are you really willing to do that? If you want revenge or a future, I can help you, but you have to fight with your own life. A trace of struggle flashed across Zhang Xiangming's face, and every word Zhang Chuan just said was like a sharp sword piercing his heart. Yes, he wanted to take revenge on those who humiliated and beat him so much that he couldn't let go of this hatred. Now that Zhang Chuan has put the opportunity in front of him, he doesn't want to give up. Zhang Xiangming gritted his teeth, fell to his knees and slowly picked up the universe bag. Very good. Zhang Chuan nodded with satisfaction. This universe bag contains the healing pills I prepared for you, as well as the things I need you to do. If things are done to my satisfaction, I can guarantee that no one in the Zhang family will be able to touch you in the future. Hearing Zhang Chuan's assurance, Zhang Xiangming trembled, and his eyes seemed to be burning with blazing fire. Then he kowtowed heavily to Zhang Chuan, and after listening to Zhang Chuan's instructions, he stood up and quickly left the mountain and sea palace. Looking at Zhang Xiangming's leaving figure, Zhang Chuan's eyes flashed with a glint. Now that everything is ready, when the ancestral land is opened, the big show he prepared will begin. At night, Zhang Chuan suddenly woke up from the bed as a hot feeling spread throughout his body like maggots attached to his bones. Zhang Chuan felt as if his body had fallen into a blazing sea of fire, and there was a burning sensation in his flesh, blood, and bones. 
Just as he was feeling dizzy, the system's voice suddenly sounded in his mind. Ding. The contract partner Luo Yue takes the Earth Fire Fruit Heart and gains the power of Earth Fire. 10,000 times return trigger. The host awakens the ancient constitution of the Burning Sky Holy Body. Burning Heaven Holy Body. The king who is impervious to all fires, who controls all fires and makes all fires surrender, has the ability to burn mountains and boil seas. As the system's voice fell, the burning sensation in Zhang Chuan's body surged again. At this moment, his blood seemed to be boiling, and Zhang Chuan could even feel the blood jumping and squirming under his skin. The terrifying high temperature swept through his body, and in the hot summer night, a large amount of steam began to erupt from the surface of his body. Zhang Chuan only felt that the heartbeat in his body was getting faster and faster, as if he would be burned by strong flames in the next moment. Gritting his teeth, he frowned and said angrily in his heart, System, can't you just give me your physique? Don't you know how tortious it is to have a sudden fever in the middle of the night? The system's cold voice responded. Sorry host, because the system forcibly implants the physique into the host, the host must bear the conflicting reactions caused by the new physique. Is there no way to prevent me from experiencing pain? Of course, won't you use it sooner? If the system had a body, Zhang Chuan really wanted to pinch the other person's neck and shake him until he vomited. Host, you didn't ask. Didn't I ask just now? You asked. Then you can use it. What to use? Use, no, I don't have to ask you what I want to use. As for the host, you should ask. I didn't ask just now. You asked. Then you. No, if you continue to play this boring endless loop with me in the system, I will uninstall you right now. Providing the host with the file details of the burning heavenly holy body. Ding. The burning holy body acceleration package has been generated. At the same time, Zhang Chuan felt the burning sensation in his body recede like a tide in an instant. At this moment, his body seemed to have been reborn, and the power within his body had undergone a terrifying qualitative change. Zhang Chuan slowly opened his right hand, and a flower formed by golden flames bloomed in his palm. Slowly closing his right hand, he wondered in his heart, expedited package. Yes, the host, with the acceleration package provided by this system, the host's absorption speed will increase 10,000 times. Zhang Chuan lowered his head and glanced at his naked body. The high temperature on the surface of his body had already burned all the clothes on his body. He put his hand on his forehead and said in a low voice, there is an acceleration pack, why didn't you use it just now? Host, you didn't, but before the system could finish speaking, Zhang Chuan immediately interrupted. Shut up, don't let me remind you next time something like this happens. As soon as Zhang Chuan finished speaking, the beeping sound of the system sounded in his mind again. Just when he thought the system was going to respond to him, the system said. Ding, the contract partner Luo Yue's realm has been upgraded to the four extremes realm, third layer heaven. 10,000 times return trigger. The host realm breaks through to the powerful realm fifth layer heaven. At the same time, under Zhang Chuan's confused gaze, the mountain and sea palace and the bed behind him instantly turned into charred ruins. He just felt a pain in his head, and then in the blink of an eye his eyes changed. What's even more strange is that Zhang Chuan can still feel that his cultivation is the same as what the system said before, and he has reached the fifth layer of the powerful realm. Feel the endless surge of spiritual energy in the body, and the immortal platform filled with chaotic energy in the Dantian, emitting red, white and green colors. The three colors respectively represent the three major physiques of Burning Heaven Holy Body, Sword Spirit Body and 3000 Tao Bones. Zhang Chuan couldn't help but wonder, what on earth is going on? Breaking through the realm of great power obviously requires the condensation of the immortal platform, and the condensation of the immortal platform will definitely experience the thunder tribulation descended by the law of heaven. But he didn't see any thunder tribulation just now, not even a thundercloud. At this time, the voice of the system sounded in Zhang Chuan's mind again. Reporting to the host, the realm improvement acceleration package has been used up. Hearing this, Zhang Chuan couldn't help but be startled, how the hell can I use the acceleration pack? Looking at the charred ruins around him, he suddenly realized. Doesn't it mean that in the blink of an eye, the thunder tribulation he needed to go through was completed together with the improvement of his realm? 
Zhang Chuan sighed and silently took out a set of clothes and put them on himself. The mountain and sea palace, now in ruins, will definitely not be able to live in tonight. Just as Zhang Chuan was thinking about where he should sleep tonight, a slender figure in green suddenly appeared in front of him. Zhang Xu stood far away on the ruins, frowning as he looked at the charred black ruins all over the ground. Just now, he felt an aura suspected of thunder tribulation appearing in Qingyuan Palace. Although the aura was fleeting, he still locked the position. Coming here, Zhang Xuyuan could even feel the power of thunder tribulation remaining in the ruins. He looked at Zhang Chuan and asked, what on earth is going on? Ahem, Zhang Chuan cleared his throat and forced out a smile, it's nothing. I just accidentally got struck by lightning while practicing. He had no choice but to reply to Zhang Xuyuan like this. He couldn't tell the other party that this was his thunder tribulation that condensed the immortal platform, right? Zhang Xuyuan couldn't help but stretch his neck when he heard the words, as if he was wondering if he heard it wrong. Are you saying that the mountain and sea palace was just struck by lightning and became what it is now? As he spoke, he pointed to the ruins in front of him and looked at Zhang Chuan with surprise in his eyes. Zhang Xuyuan knew that there was a defensive formation inside the mountain and sea palace that could withstand King Realm's full blow. What kind of thunder can not only penetrate the defensive formation, but also collapse the mountain and sea palace? Zhang Chuan nodded. I know it's hard to convince people, but it's really what I said. Zhang Xuyuan looked at the other party's sincere eyes and nodded helplessly. Then he turned around and stood with his hands behind his back, and his cold voice reached Zhang Chuan's ears without any trace. Now that the mountain and sea palace has been destroyed by lightning, Xiao Chuan, you can stay in my Qingyuan palace today. After speaking, he waved his hand, rolled up all the surrounding ruins, and then took the lead to leave. Seeing this scene, Zhang Chuan sighed. Okay, now my house is really gone. The time came early the next morning. Zhang family Baihua Palace, outside the palace gate. Luo Yue was in a very good mood today. After taking the earth fire fruit heart yesterday, she not only mastered the power of earth fire, but her cultivation also skyrocketed by three minor realms. Luo Yue is confident that it won't take long for her to surpass Zhang Chuan in strength. After waiting for a moment outside the palace gate, she saw Zhang Chuan with messy hair and a slightly depressed spirit walking towards her. Seeing this, Luo Yue couldn't help but frown slightly. This was the first time she saw Zhang Chuan, who was usually very image conscious, walking outside like this. Did this guy go play with gunpowder last night? Luo Yue said to herself. On the other side, after Zhang Chuan came out of Qingyuan Palace, he swore in his heart that he would never live in Zhang Xuyuan's Qingyuan Palace again. Since his mountain and sea palace was destroyed by thunder tribulation last night, he has lived in Qingyuan Palace. But the problem is that almost all the rooms in Qingyuan Palace are filled with storybooks collected by Zhang Xuyuan. For this reason, Zhang Chuan had no choice but to sleep with Zhang Xuyuan in a room in Qingyuan Palace. Originally, Zhang Chuan thought he was just having a normal sleep, but what happened next left Zhang Chuan on the verge of an emotional breakdown all night long. He didn't know where Zhang Xuyuan learned the weird divine ability secret technique, which could actually make the script speak for itself and read out the contents word for word. This is like the listening function of Zhang Chuan's previous life rabbit horse head novel. This is not the most outrageous thing. The voice for listening to the book was actually, matched, by Zhang Xuyuan himself. Forget about listening to the book, the other party actually kept listening to it all night long. Even if I listened to it all night long, what Zhang Xuyuan listened to was still the greasy boss's article that made people pick their toes out of his mountain and sea palace. In this way, Zhang Chuan spent the whole night in high spirits listening to the greasy boss article, dubbed, by Zhang Xuyuan. Zhang Chuan now really regrets why he let the system enable the acceleration package. Just stay at home and sleep, okay. Luo Yue's beautiful eyes swept up and down Zhang Chuan's body, and the corners of her mouth curled up unnoticeably. After the other party's figure approached, she put away the corner of her mouth and asked curiously. What are you doing? Nothing, I was playing with gunpowder last night. Zhang Chuan scratched his messy long hair and said with a gloomy expression. Then he took out the silver phoenix ring that Zhang Xuyuan gave him, and handed it to Luo Yue with his other hand. 
Let's not mention that for now, just stretch out your hand. Zhang Chuan said calmly. Luo Yue couldn't help but raise her brows when she heard this, and subconsciously pulled her neck back. When Zhang Chuan took out the ring just now, he was not carrying her behind his back, and she could almost see his actions clearly. But the other party's move caught her a little off guard. How can anyone let someone wear a ring before they even get married? Seeing Luo Yue's figure frozen in place and not moving, Zhang Chuan couldn't help but frowned and said. What are you doing standing still? Give me your hand quickly. After that, he didn't care if Luo Yue wanted it or not, he suddenly reached out and grabbed the other person's left hand and pulled it in front of him. You, by the time Luo Yue reacted, Zhang Chuan had already put the silver phoenix ring on the ring finger of her left hand. At the same time, there was a storm in her heart. The moment Zhang Chuan held her left hand, Luo Yue felt a deep sense of powerlessness. What makes Luo Yue even more weird is that her power of earth fire actually conveyed a signal of fear to her in front of Zhang Chuan, and she couldn't wait to worship and surrender to him. It was as if it was not her, but Zhang Chuan whose realm had skyrocketed last night. The problem is that she doesn't remember that Zhang Chuan has ever practiced the divine ability such as fire control. But now, before Luo Yue could think about it, Zhang Chuan's voice came again. Don't think too much about it, this is a necessity for entering the Ancestral Land trial. The trial in the Ancestral Land will begin tomorrow. You should prepare yourself and don't hold me back. Last night Zhang Shuyuan clearly told him the specific time when the Ancestral Land trial would start. If you want to pass the trial quickly, Luo Yue's performance is indispensable. Hearing this, Luo Yue pursed her red lips and struggled to pull her jade hand away from Zhang Chuan's palm. I don't need your reminder. Luo Yue glared at Zhang Chuan with her beautiful eyes. Luo Yue was somewhat uncomfortable with Zhang Chuan's changeable personality. It was the other party who swore the oath of heaven in front of others, and now it was the other party who had a cold personality when she was alone with her. Sometimes Luo Yue really suspected that Zhang Chuan had some kind of schizophrenia. Zhang Chuan chuckled lightly and instead of quarreling with the other party, he put another golden dragon ring on his finger. The moment the golden dragon ring was put on his ring finger, Zhang Chuan and Luo Yue looked startled at the same time. At this moment, the two of them raised their eyes to look at each other in unison, and both of them saw shock in each other's eyes. There was no other reason. After wearing the dragon and phoenix rings together, Zhang Chuan found that he had a strong feeling in his heart. It seemed that no matter how far away the other party was, he could immediately determine the other party's position through the induction brought to him by the golden dragon ring. This thing is simply more effective than Zhang Chuan's GPS positioning in his previous life. Zhang Chuan and Luo Yue then conducted research on the dragon and phoenix rings for a period of time. Finally, it was discovered that these two rings also have the function of allowing both parties to teleport at fixed points. As long as two people are within a 10-mile radius of each other, they can teleport to each other using the rings. However, after Zhang Chuan tried to teleport once and flashed 10 centimeters to Luo Yue, he found that the ring's ability could not be used a second time today. After that, as the spiritual energy in the ring was consumed, the ring began to absorb the spiritual energy in the air to fill itself. Zhang Chuan can feel that with the ring's current absorption speed, the ring's transmission ability can be used again after 12 hours. On the other side, after confirming the purpose of the dragon and phoenix ring, Luo Yue looked down at her palm with a complicated expression. Zhang Chuan also stopped what he was doing and turned his attention to Luo Yue. Looking at the stunning beauty that could overshadow the past and present, he seemed to remember something and asked lightly. You stayed at Baihua Palace yesterday. Where is my mother? You brat, you would rather stand outside and ask Yue than come in to find your mother. You really forgot about your mother when you had a wife. Without waiting for Luo Yue's response, Lu Jingyu slowly walked out of the Palace of Flowers with her arms crossed, looking at the two of them with smiles in her eyes. Seeing Lu Jingyu's arrival, Zhang Chuan frowned, then walked up to him and said with a smile. How could it be? Mother, I came here specifically to see you. Hearing this, Lu Jingyu showed a smile on her lips, tapped her fingers on Zhang Chuan's cheek and said. Tell me, do you need help from my mother for anything? She kept moving her hands as she spoke, 
taking Zhang Chuan's left hand with one hand and gently stroking the golden dragon ring, nodding secretly. Zhang Chuan was a piece of flesh that fell off her back then, and she knew exactly what he was thinking. Based on Lu Jingyu's understanding of her son, Zhang Chuan would not take the initiative to show courtesy, and the number of times he could come to her in the past could be counted on one's fingers. Only when he needs something from her will he come to her so diligently early in the morning. Seeing that Lu Jingyu had clarified his thoughts, Zhang Chuan was not embarrassed and raised the corner of his mouth. Mother, do you still have the Wanyu Spring water in Baihua Valley? Hearing this, Lu Jingyu raised her eyebrows and returned Yuquan water as a necessity for brewing drunk immortal brew in Baihua Valley. She naturally had a lot of it. At the same time, this jade spring water can strengthen the protection of one's own meridians and organs when taken alone. In Baihua Valley, only the true disciples would be given a few drops by her. As for Zhang Chuan, she had given him hundreds of drops of Wanyu spring water as early as her childhood, but if she drank it again now, the effect would be almost non-existent. But after seeing Luo Yue not far away, Lu Jingyu suddenly understood. It seems that Xiao Chuan wants to return the Yuquan water to help Yue improve her strength. This kid is quite interested in it. It makes me, a mother, a little jealous, Lu Jingyu said to herself in her heart, and at the same time took out a porcelain bottle engraved with exquisite patterns and handed it to Zhang Chuan. Then she reminded, there are hundreds of drops of returning jade spring water here. Yu Wei's body is relatively weak, so let her take 50 drops first, and then take the rest after her realm improves. Lu Jingyu knew that a monk who had lost his natal Taoist bones would not only have his qualifications reduced, but his physique would also be 10% lower than that of a group of geniuses. Let the other party take 50 drops, just to be on the safe side. As for how much improvement Luo Yue would get after taking Wanyuquan water, Lu Jingyu didn't care. Now she is very happy with this daughter-in-law. Regardless of her qualifications, her peerless appearance is definitely worthy of her son. At the same time, she was also happy to see that the two of them could resolve their differences, and Lu Jingyu was very supportive of Zhang Chuan's choice. You know all this, Zhang Chuan asked in surprise. He didn't expect that Lu Jingyu had already finished everything he wanted to ask before he explained his intention. Did you show it so obviously? Lu Jingyu covered her mouth and smiled. You, you just have to write it on your face. If I can't see it anymore, I will have been your mother for so many years. Zhang Chuan smiled awkwardly when he heard this. Since the other party had guessed what he was thinking, he could waste less time talking. Then he turned around and handed the porcelain bottle containing jade spring water to Luo Yue, shaking it to signal her to put it away. This is too expensive, I can't accept it. Luo Yue quickly waved her hand to refuse, and now she pretended to be a shy girl in front of Lu Jingyu. She had naturally heard the conversation between Zhang Chuan and Lu Jingyu just now. There were a hundred drops of Huan Yuquan water in the porcelain bottle, and its value could be imagined. She must have wanted to take it into her heart, but she still had to act. Zhang Chuan on the side couldn't tell that Luo Yue was pretending to refuse. Then he looked straight at the other party and said in a serious tone. Take it, I don't want to say it a second time. There are many dangers in the ancestral land. If you cannot protect yourself with your own strength, it will distract me. After saying this, Zhang Chuan suddenly realized something was wrong. Why did he add the second half of the sentence? This greasy feeling, isn't it right? It seems that he will stay away from his second uncle in the future. Just one night, he was affected by the greasy CEO's article. If it goes on for a long time, won't he be assimilated? On the other side, Luo Yue tried hard to restrain the urge to roll her eyes, took a deep breath, pursed her lips and nodded. Okay, thank you brother Chuan, Yue will work hard. That delicate voice couldn't help but make Zhang Chuan frown, and goosebumps instantly fell all over the floor. Lu Jingyu at the back opened her mouth, then raised her head and looked elsewhere. As the communication between young people so strange nowadays, Lu Jingyu murmured to herself. After Luo Yue said this, she, reluctantly, accepted the porcelain vase from Zhang Chuan's hand, and at the same time put her other hand on the other's arm. Looking at Zhang Chuan's instantly tense body, she couldn't help but sneer in her heart. Zhang Chuan tried hard to adjust his mood at the moment, and the alluring aroma exuded by the people around him continued to penetrate into his nostrils. 
coupled with that face that brought disaster to the country and the people, even a person with an indifferent personality like Zhang Chuan almost couldn't calm down. He exhaled a big breath through his nose, and then reached out to push away Luo Yue's hand on his arm. Then Zhang Chuan turned to Lu Jingyu and said, Mother, Yu Wei and I have some things to do and have to leave first. I will come back to say hello to you another day. Hearing this, Lu Jingyu did not speak, but smiled and nodded, looking at Zhang Chuan with a hint of relief. His son now actually knows how to care about others. In the past, except for himself and Zhang Xiren, everyone he saw looked cold and gloomy. As for the scandal between Zhang Chuan and Saint Yaoshan in the early years, Lu Jingyu naturally would not believe it. How could her son become someone else's licking dog? After bidding farewell to Lu Jingyu, Zhang Chuan ignored Luo Yue's shameful and angry expression, picked her up by the waist, and lifted her up to a height of a hundred meters in a blink of an eye. Lu Jingyu stood there alone and watched the two people leave, her eyes flickering and then she became resentful. She pouted and turned around and murmured, The last time Shu Ran hugged me like this was eighty years ago. Ha, huh, compared to being romantic, he is really not even as good as a son. At this moment, Zhang Xiren, who was far away in the Kangyuan sword sect, suddenly had an itchy nose and sneezed. However, the more advanced a monk is, the longer his breath will be. Zhang Xiren just took a breath and sucked it back, then touched his nose and murmured, Yuea and Xiaochuan must be thinking about me. After finishing the things here, it's time to go back to the family. The biting cold wind from high in the sky hit, Luo Yue's smooth hair swayed in the wind, feeling the hot man's breath blowing against her face, a red cloud rose uncontrollably on her face. Luo Yue raised her hand and patted Zhang Chuan's chest, where are we going? No, please put me down first. As she spoke, Luo Yue's slender jade legs began to move randomly, and her hands kept beating Zhang Chuan's chest. Due to the huge gap between her and Zhang Chuan's realm, Luo Yue was like a lamb being slapped by a hunter, unable to muster the strength to escape. At the same time, the feeling of surrender coming from the power of earth fire in her body became stronger and stronger. Fortunately, the Taoyuan immortal body suppressed it, so the idea of the power of earth fire wanting to be Zhang Chuan's little brother was given up. Zhang Chuan glanced coldly at the person in his arms, and then said calmly, Don't move around, I will take you somewhere. After saying that, he increased his speed and opened his aura shield at the same time to prevent the strong wind from ruffling their clothes. When Luo Yue saw Zhang Chuan's unconcerned look, she immediately stopped and huddled stiffly in the other person's arms. In less than half a minute, a blood-red pool appeared in their field of vision. The entire pool occupies almost a hundred meters of ground. The blood-red water in the pool seems to be boiling, with bubbles constantly emerging on the surface of the pool. Two old men in grey robes stood in front of the pool. It seemed that no one had entered this place for a long time. The two were chatting leisurely at this time. Old Li Tu, how long do you think we have been guarding this blood-forging pool? Less than ten thousand years. How much don't you know specifically? Three hundred years. I recently heard that the Holy Son seemed to be engaged to a princess from a small dynasty. I don't know what the clan elders thought, but no one spoke out against it. What's the point of objecting? Don't you know who our Zhang family is now? It wasn't until they heard the movement above their heads that the two grey-robed old men stopped talking and looked up together. After seeing the face of the visitor clearly, the two of them couldn't help but widen their eyes, cupped their hands and said in unison. See the sun. Zhang Chuan carried Luo Yue to the outside of the blood-forging pool, and then a barrier suddenly appeared blocking their progress. The universe ring on Zhang Chuan's finger suddenly burst out with a flash of red light, and then he flashed through the barrier and reached the top of the blood-forging pool. At this moment, Luo Yue was put down by Zhang Chuan and stood aside with Zhang Chuan in the sky. After seeing the barrier outside the blood-forging pool, Luo Yue realized why the other party had hugged her earlier despite a disagreement. But even so, at least tell yourself the reason first. He brought her here without saying anything, which made her feel uneasy all the way. But before she thought too much, the next moment Luo Yue's attention was attracted by the blood-forging pool below. She could clearly feel the energy and blood in the pool that was so rich that it was about to turn into reality. In her previous life, Luo Yue had heard that there was a blood-forging pool in the Zhang family. 
Every direct descendant of the Zhang family had the opportunity to enter the blood forging pool to absorb the power of qi and blood and exercise their physical body when they reached adulthood. Although she had been a Taoist priest in Jiangxuan for thousands of years in her previous life, she had never entered the Zhang family's blood training pool to practice. Zhang Chuan's move to bring her here now made her feel incredible. As one of the secret places of the Zhang clan, this blood forging pool has always been accessible to direct descendants. Even the Ning family, which has a very good relationship with the Zhang family, has not been able to get a place to enter the blood forging pool. It can be seen that the Zhang family's senior officials attach great importance to the blood forging pool. On the other side, Zhang Chuan glanced condescendingly at the two gray robed old men and said lightly, Open the blood forging pool. I, the Holy Son, will take people in. After hearing this, the two people below looked at each other, and a look of embarrassment appeared on their faces. Seeing that the two of them had been chattering for a long time without making any move, Zhang Chuan narrowed his eyes and began to rub the universe ring at the base of his index finger with his thumb. What, what this holy son said doesn't work anymore? Zhang Chuan asked in a cold voice. Holy son, please don't embarrass us. If you want to go in alone, that's absolutely fine. But if we allow people other than direct descendants to enter without the order of the clan elders, both of our positions will be in jeopardy. An old man in grey robes stepped forward and said with cupped hands, which seemed to be neither humble nor overbearing. At this time, Zhang Chuan's face suddenly showed an expression that was half a smile, he clapped his hands and said with a smile. You two are really conscientious of your duties. For some reason, the two of them always felt gloomy after seeing the smile on Zhang Chuan's face, and a creepy feeling swept through their bodies. Luo Yue stood aside and waited quietly. She knew that when Zhang Chuan showed such a smile, someone would definitely suffer. Sure enough, a sword sound suddenly sounded. Immediately afterwards, several people present saw a green long sword in Zhang Chuan's hand, and the sword's edge exuded a dazzling cold light under the light. At the same time, the old man in grey robe who had stood up and refused only felt an itch on his neck. As the perspective continued to retreat, he actually saw a headless corpse falling to the ground. When another old man in grey robe saw this scene, his pupils couldn't help but shrink suddenly, his lips trembled, but he didn't dare to say a word. The dead body was in the fourth layer heaven realm like him, but in front of Zhang Chuan, he didn't even know how he died. Didn't it mean that their holy son is still in the dragon transformation realm? Is this the strength that the dragon transformation realm can exert? Taking the opponent's sword just now, the strength of this holy son is at least in the late stage of the great power realm. Zhang Chuan calmly put away the dragon sword and said calmly, You two have a very early lunch break. He has already gone to bed. Why, aren't you going to sleep? After that, he slowly walked forward, each step landing with a loud sound. As Zhang Chuan's footsteps approached, the remaining old man in grey robe felt that the other party was stepping on his heart with every step, and breathing became more and more difficult. It wasn't until Zhang Chuan came within five meters of him that his emotions finally collapsed and he said in a trembling voice. I, I will open the blood forging pool now. Holy son, you, just wait a moment. After saying that, he suppressed his trembling and weak legs and hurried to the blood forging pool, then took out a diamond-shaped token and pressed it into the groove that matched it. As the diamond-shaped token was embedded, the blood-red water in the blood-forging pool gradually stopped boiling, and its color became brighter, like a huge natural ruby. Seeing this, Zhang Chuan nodded secretly, then pointed to the headless corpse beside him and said to the gray-robed old man, You take this guy out first and wait for me. Hearing this, the old man in gray robe nodded quickly, ran back with staggering steps and dragged out the head and headless corpse. It wasn't until he ran out of the barrier that he let out a long breath. The feeling the Holy Son gave him just now was simply too terrible. He didn't want to face the Holy Son alone again. Touching his back that was soaked with sweat, the old man in grey robe sighed. But just as quickly as he said it, there was a sudden pain in his sea of consciousness. Then a seemingly endless black mist occupied his entire sea of consciousness in just a few seconds. Then he lowered his head and moved his gaze to the headless corpse. There was no emotion in those empty eyes. I saw him slowly putting away the body and muttering to himself with a dull expression. I killed him, I killed. Luo Yue did not rush into the blood forging pool, but turned to Zhang Chuan and asked. 
Now that you have killed one of the guards of the blood forging pond, aren't you worried that the Zhang family will find out and blame you? She knew that one of the nine great aristocratic families, like the Zhang family, valued their own unique secret place of inheritance the most. Even if a holy son of a clan takes outsiders into a secret place without the permission of the clan elders and the head of the family, and even kills the guards in the secret place over a disagreement, the other party will definitely be held accountable afterwards. And just to let her enter the blood forging pool to practice, is it really worth it? But compared to this matter, Luo Yue is more curious about Zhang Chuan's current strength. She had seen Zhang Chuan take action in the Daifeng dynasty. At that time, the opponent fought fiercely with a powerful elder from the Qingfeng sect for several rounds before he was captured. The secret guards of the Zhang family will at least be at the level of great power. Compared with the elders of the Qingfeng sect, the two previous ones are obviously more than one level higher. As a result, Zhang Chuan not only got stronger when he encountered a strong one, he didn't even give him a chance to fight, so he defeated him with just one sword. Luo Yue found that since she stayed with the other party for a long time, she became more and more unconfident. Obviously there are qualitative changes every time he is promoted, but he always feels that the gap between him and Zhang Chuan is getting farther and farther. No, I must work harder to practice. If I am stepped on by Zhang Chuan in this life, then my rebirth will be in vain. At this time, Zhang Chuan didn't know what the other party was thinking. Regarding Luo Yue's question, he just smiled lightly and said. You don't have to worry about this matter. You just need to do your own thing now. I will take care of the rest. He naturally knew that Luo Yue's worries were not unnecessary. If the previous incident was spread, it would probably affect his prestige within the Zhang family. But Zhang Chuan was never a reckless person. From the beginning, he knew that the people responsible for guarding the blood forging pool were his third uncle, who was under Zhang Sichi. Even if no one rejected him verbally just now, he would find any reason to kill them. There is no other reason. With the strength that Zhang Chuan has shown now, as long as the people of the Zhang family are not fools, they will naturally be able to figure out the importance of it. Furthermore, who has any evidence to prove that he killed someone in the blood forging pond? The grey robed old man whom Zhang Chuan left behind might have been accused of killing his own people and was on the run at this moment. Now that he has thrown the so-called evidence on the table, those old guys know what to do as long as they are not stupid. When the time comes, Zhang Sichi's losses will definitely be considerable, and Zhang Chuan's own position will be more stable, which can be said to be two birds with one stone. Then he walked to Luo Yue, pointed at the blood forging pool and said again, take off your clothes. Um, Luo Yue was stunned when she heard this and looked at Zhang Chuan with a puzzled expression. That expression seemed to say, you asked me to take off my clothes, so why are you still standing here? Zhang Chuan seemed to realize this, and then shook his head and said, Never mind, forget it. Luo Yue looked confused. But as the words fell, a strong force suddenly came from her round buttocks. Immediately afterwards, Luo Yue's figure became unstable and she staggered and fell into the blood forging pool. With the sound of, plop, Huge waves arose in the blood forging pool, and the blood red water splashed everywhere. Seeing this, Zhang Chuan slowly retracted his right leg and sat down cross legged in the open space beside the blood forging pool. On the other hand, Luo Yue lowered her head and glanced at her lower skirt, which was already dyed red by the pool water, and couldn't help but feel angry in her heart. This was because she opened the aura shield the moment she fell into the water, so that her upper body was not soaked by the water. Seeing Zhang Chuan's nonchalant look, Luo Yue couldn't help but tighten her fists, as if there were 10,000 ways to torture him in her mind. But suddenly, a wave of heat surged up rapidly from the soles of her feet, instantly spreading throughout her limbs and veins. At this moment, Luo Yue's little face was as red as a ripe red apple. When Zhang Chuan not far away saw this scene, he quickly shouted. Take the Huan Yuquan water. After hearing this, Luo Yue raised her head, held the porcelain bottle in her right hand and poured it into her mouth without hesitation. The crystal clear liquid flowed out of the bottle, and flowed into her stomach as she swallowed. Throwing away the porcelain bottle, she immediately sat cross-legged in the pool, leaving only her head exposed. Luo Yue gradually slowed down her breathing, 
and the Dao Yan Jing and Dao Yuan immortal body in her body were running on their own at the same time. With Luo Yue as the center, a sucking force like a whale swallowing force continuously gathered the energy and blood in the blood forging pool. Seeing this scene, Zhang Chuan couldn't help but exclaimed in his heart, the Dao Yuan immortal physique is indeed one of the top physiques, and it really deserves its reputation. Although the power of qi and blood was absorbed very covertly, with Zhang Chuan's current mental strength, he could clearly feel that the power of qi and blood in the blood forging pool was disappearing at the speed of an Indian rushing for a bus. The blood forging pool can't be sucked dry by her. As time passed, the power of qi and blood in the blood forging pool became thinner and thinner, and even the color of the water began to change from thick to light. While Luo Yue was still absorbing it selflessly, Zhang Chuan was not idle at the side. Silently used the burning heaven holy body to use high temperature to accelerate the transformation of the energy and blood in the blood forging pool. As a steady stream of energy and blood poured into Luo Yue's body from every pore, at a certain moment, the absorption of energy and blood seemed to reach a critical point. The power of qi and blood dispersed back into the pool, and Luo Yue slowly opened her eyes at this moment, with brilliance flowing in her beautiful eyes. When she was overjoyed, she stood up in the pool. Her clothes, which had already been soaked by the pool water, clung to her chest and back, revealing her exquisite and perfect figure. But then Luo Yue realized something was wrong. Zhang Chuan stood on the opposite side and stared at her with no intention of moving away. It took a moment for her to react, and she suddenly waved her sleeves, and a 10-meter high water curtain instantly rose from the blood-red pool water, blocking Zhang Chuan's view. Under the cover of the water curtain, Luo Yue flew out of the blood forging pool, spinning and jumping several times in midair. The blood red pool water stained on her body disappeared in the blink of an eye. And at the moment when Luo Yue rotated the laundry, Zhang Chuan received the reward after the return. Ding! The contract partner Luo Yue absorbs the power of qi and blood, and her own qi and blood surge. 10,000 times return trigger. The host gets a drop of the essence and blood of Beihai Dragon Lord. The reward this time is actually a drop of dragon blood essence. As far as the title of dragon lord is concerned, the owner of this drop of blood essence is at least a strong dragon from the holy realm. As the most powerful race in the world with the power of energy and blood, the dragon clan was expected by Zhang Chuan to be able to obtain the essence and blood of the holy realm dragon clan after returning it 10,000 times. Zhang Chuan was not in a hurry to absorb it, but first stored the drop of blood essence in the system backpack. If he absorbed it now, he couldn't guarantee whether there would be any weird movements next, and at least he would have to separate from Luo Yue first. In the Zhang family meeting hall, the nine elders of the Zhang family and Zhang Sichi were seated on both sides of the hall. At this moment, everyone had different expressions, and the atmosphere in the hall was slightly gloomy. As for Zhang Shuyuan, he never participated in such gatherings, even when he was the head of the family. After a long moment of silence, someone finally couldn't hold it back and said, Zhang Chuan has indeed gone too far in this matter. He who holds the position of the Holy Son now kills the guards of the blood forging pond indiscriminately. Zhang Sichi, who was sitting not far away, nodded after hearing this, with a smile flashing in his eyes. But immediately afterwards, a clan elder retorted, you can't say that, everything must be based on evidence. The guards of the blood forging pond were all recruited. The two of them had a dispute, and one of them got angry and killed the other. As the clan elder finished speaking, many people nodded in agreement. If Zhang Chuan could kill a monk in the middle stage of the great power realm, they would never believe it. The gap between those with a mortal platform and those without a mortal platform is as far away as a Milky Way. At that time, Many people in the Zhang family saw that the guard of the blood forging pond dumped a headless corpse at the gate of Zhang Sichi's Qingqi Palace. When he was about to leave, he happened to be caught by a passing elder. But the fact is that Zhang Chuan brought a woman with a foreign surname into the blood forging pool, and not long after, one of the guards died. How could such a coincidence happen? Hey, I also said that the guard dumped the body at the gate of Qingqi Palace. How could it be such a coincidence? Hearing that the two clan elders suddenly pointed the finger at him during the argument, Zhang Sichi was stunned for a moment, then squeezed out a smile and said. That's right, this matter requires evidence. Now that all the guards have been recruited, the murderer is obviously him. 
At the same time, Zhang Sichi scolded the two guards of the blood forging pond hundreds of times in his heart. But then he slapped his palm on the armrest beside him, stood up and changed the subject. But it is an undoubted fact that Zhang Chuan brought outsiders into the blood forging pool. Do you elders have anything else to say? As he spoke, his eyes swept over the clan elders present one by one, looking completely sure of victory. Although Zhang Chuan, as the Holy Son, would only receive a slight punishment at most, it was enough to cause Zhang Chuan a little trouble. It would be even better if it could affect the opponent's trial in the ancestral land. As soon as this statement came out, all the clan elders fell silent, and no one came forward to refute. But just when Zhang Sichi was feeling proud, an old and powerful voice resounded through the meeting hall. What? I asked him to take the little girl to the blood forging pool. Do you have any objections? As soon as the words fell, the top of the hall was suddenly lifted up, and a short old man in purple stepped through the air and entered the hall. In just a blink of an eye, the other party appeared in front of everyone. The old man in purple clothes stood with his hands behind his hands, his withered white hair hanging lifelessly on his shoulders, and his body showed no aura. He looked as if he was just an ordinary old man. If he hadn't raised the hall. See the nine ancestors. When Zhang Sichi and other clan elders saw the visitor, their expressions changed, and they all stood up and shouted respectfully. The ninth ancestor of their Zhang family has been missing all year round. Except for a few senior members of the family, the younger generation below them don't even know if there is such an ancestor. But now that the other party actually came forward in person, this made everyone present feel a little more suspicious. Could it be that there really is some relationship between Zhang Chuan and Zhu Zhu that they don't know about? Zhu Zhu nodded with a smile, waved his hands to signal everyone to excuse themselves, and then said seriously. I didn't inform you of this in advance, but it's not too late to tell you now. From today on, you are not allowed to interfere or interfere with any of the actions of my holy son of the Zhang family. Seeing him is like seeing me. Everyone present was startled when they heard this, and their faces showed a look of confusion. But seeing this situation, they had no room to object, so they had no choice but to nod respectfully and agree in unison. With the words of the Ninth Patriarch, they knew that the power of the Holy Son Zhongchuan would rise again in the future. Seeing this, Juzu couldn't help but nodded with satisfaction, then he narrowed his eyes, turned his head and stared at Zhang Sichi for a moment and said. You cannot escape the blame for the blood-forging pool guards harming your fellow clan members. This blood-forging pool will be guarded by Zhang Ru's men in the future. Hearing this, Zhang Sichi's face suddenly turned ugly. Relying on the duty of guarding the blood-forging pool, he gained a lot of benefits from it. He often took away a few small bottles of the pool water that contained the power of qi and blood to trade with others. Now that there is no blood-forging pool, Zhang Sichi has lost a lot of materials. But facing the ninth ancestor of the clan, he had no choice but to nod in agreement, not daring to complain at all. The ninth ancestor seemed too lazy to talk nonsense with everyone. He just waved his hand and sent everyone present out of the meeting hall one by one. When he was the only one left in the hall, he slowly turned around and raised his head and whispered, Xu Yuan, what do you think about this matter? As Zhu Zhu finished speaking, a figure walked through the palace wall. It was his second uncle Zhang Shuyuan, whom Zhang Chuan wanted to stay away from. He did not pay respect to the ninth ancestor like the others before, but just strolled to the other party and said calmly. Even I was almost deceived by him before. With this talent and this city, even my elder brother is not as good as him. Ha ha ha. Juzu stroked his beard with one hand and smiled. Since you said so, Shuyuan, it is indeed time for Xiaochuan to be exposed to that technique after the trial in the ancestral land is over. As for why the two of them suddenly appeared here, the reason was precisely the sword Zhang Chuan slashed in the blood forging pond. As the ancestor of a clan, almost nothing big or small that happened in the clan could escape the eyes of the ninth ancestor. He naturally saw what Zhang Chuan Duoxuchi did at that time. Especially when Zhang Chuan revealed his fifth layer strength, he almost couldn't help but overthrow his own backbone. But after knowing Zhang Chuan's strength, how could he hold back? Even if he called Zhang Shuyuan, he rushed over to announce the matter. Zhu ancestor is confident that his vision is correct. If his descendants are like this, he, the son of the Zhang family, should be the leader of the current generation. 
The time came early the next morning. A hundred tigers roared in unison outside the main hall of the Zhang family, and all the direct descendants of the Zhang family were present. Zhang Chuan and Luo Yue stood at the front of the crowd hand in hand. Even though they just stood quietly, they still became the center of attention. The handsome man and the beautiful woman, dressed in white clothes and white skirts, looked like a couple relegated to immortals. Whether it was the direct descendants present or the people from the major first-class families and sects who were present as their Taoist companions, they were all eclipsed in front of the two of them. Zhang Chuan's aura is now restrained, but there is a vague sense of self-reliance and authority around him, which makes people unable to look directly at him and makes him feel ashamed. At this moment, he turned his head and looked through the crowd to the rear, where he saw Zhang Xiangming, wrapped in linen, standing in an unnoticed corner, his cold eyes scanning the crowd through the gaps in the linen. In fact, with the healing medicine given by Zhang Chuan, Zhang Xiangming's injury recovered as before two days ago. The reason why he is wrapped in linen now is to avoid arousing suspicion from others. At this time, there was a young woman with a delicate face standing next to Zhang Xiangming. She held Zhang Xiangming's arm with both hands, looking intimate. However, the young woman's gaze was not on Zhang Xiangming at all. Her eyes were shining brightly, and she was constantly scanning the male descendants of the Zhang family. She looked like a money addict after seeing jewelry. Zhang Xiangming saw the other party's little moves. Although he was dissatisfied, he did not say anything out loud. After all, this woman was sent by Zhang Chuan to pretend to be a Taoist companion, and it was not his turn to make demands for anything the other party did. Zhang Xiangming looked down at the golden dragon ring on his left hand. Because time was tight, Zhang Chuan specially asked Zhang Shuyuan to send someone to deliver these dragon and phoenix rings to him. Then he stretched out his hand and pressed it on the universe bag on his waist, a look of madness flashed through his eyes under the linen. Just wait, now that the Holy Sun is helping me, I will return all those who have insulted and trampled on me. But at this moment, Zhang Yu, who was standing not far ahead, spotted Zhang Xiangming and the two of them at some point, and the corner of his mouth curled up in a joking manner. Then many people saw him walking towards Zhang Xiangming with his female companion. Zhang Xiangming watched the other party come to him, subconsciously took a step back and said, Zhang Yu, what do you want to do? He knew that he had the support of the Holy Sun behind him, so he couldn't help but speak in a more relaxed tone. Hearing this, Zhang Yu's eyes narrowed, as if he didn't expect that the guy who had been trampled under his feet like a dog in the past would now dare to call him by his first name. It really surprises me that you still have the courage to participate in the ancestral land trial. But the ancestral land trial is not just playing house. If anything happens, it is completely normal. Zhang Yu suddenly stretched out a hand and put it on Zhang Xiangming's shoulder, his words meant to intimidate him. Zhang Xiangming clenched his back molars, and the linen cloth wrapped around his face perfectly concealed his ferocious expression at the moment. Feeling the pressure on his shoulders, it seemed as if his bones would be crushed by the opponent in the next moment. The severe pain made his body begin to tremble uncontrollably, but he still held back and did not make a sound. After a few seconds, Zhang Yu slowly retracted his hand, a look of boredom flashing in his eyes. As the pressure on his body disappeared, Zhang Xiangming staggered and gasped for air. The gap in strength between the two was really too big. At this time, Zhang Yu's eyes came to the young woman accompanying Zhang Xiangming. I saw that the other party was not timid at all. Instead, he blinked his eyes towards Zhang Yu and made secret glances. Zhang Yu also suddenly became interested, and before leaving, he flicked his fingers and sent a blast of energy across the opponent's breasts, causing him to snort, a blush rising on his face, and he collapsed on Zhang Xiangming's shoulders. All this was seen by Zhang Xiangming, which made the anger in his heart even stronger. Although the two of them were just pretending to be Taoist monks for fun and had no real Taoist status, Zhang Yu's current actions were tantamount to stepping on his face and rubbing it on the ground. At this moment, his eyes were fixed on Zhang Yu's leaving figure, and the hatred in his eyes seemed to condense into substance. As the episode ended, Zhang Chuan slowly withdrew his gaze and no longer paid attention to what was going on with Zhang Xiangming. After a moment, Zhang Xuyuan, dressed in green clothes, walked out of the side hall and came to stand at the front of the main hall. Everyone below immediately stopped whispering and held their heads high with solemn expressions, waiting for Zhang Xuyuan to speak. 
Zhang Shuyuan glanced at everyone with a stern expression, and then he gently waved his sleeves. Immediately afterwards, the entire main hall began to shake, and the large stone pillars distributed in four directions in the hall instantly burst out with dazzling light. As the light from all directions gathered and combined, it gradually turned into an arched portal with a flowing halo, floating quietly above the heads of everyone present. Ah, my eyes, what on earth are these? This, is this the entrance to the secret realm? No, I guess this portal is most likely the entrance to the ancestral land trial. What, the location of the ancestral land trial is actually hidden in the main hall of my Zhang family. Facing the huge portal that suddenly appeared, everyone exclaimed, squinting their eyes and not daring to look directly at its light. Cough, hearing the cough, everyone looked at Zhang Shuyuan again. I saw the other party with his hands behind his back and said with a serious expression, you have also seen that the secret realm here is the place where my Zhang family's ancestral trial is. Before entering, you need to divide into two rows, men and women, and enter in sequence. There are many difficulties and dangers in the ancestral land. If you encounter dangers that you cannot cope with, don't show off and just return the way you came. Did you hear it clearly? As he spoke, there seemed to be a hint of expectation in Zhang Shuyuan's eyes. Just because there is no fixed time for the opening of the ancestral land trial. Every opening is before the beginning of an era. Clear, everyone responded in unison, with excitement on their faces, obviously ready to enter. Then everyone immediately formed two columns, with twenty people in each column, and began to enter the door in an orderly manner under the instructions of several elders. After entering the portal, Zhang Chuan felt his eyes darken, and then found that he and a group of people appeared in a wide and endless dark corridor. Just when everyone was confused, a beam of fire suddenly flashed in the corridor. Immediately afterwards, a large fire began to spread from a distance in the direction of Zhang Chuan and others. The lighting of the fire broadened everyone's vision. Looking closely, they saw a torch at regular intervals on the walls on both sides of the corridor. The firelight was emitted by the burning torches. But when the corridor became brighter, Zhang Chuan was surprised to find that Luo Yue was missing. Not only Luo Yue, but all the women who came to the ancestral land for trials are not here. Yanzi, where have you been? Yanzi, how can I live without you? Oh shit, where is my wife? Don't panic, everyone, there must be something fishy about this. Hey, what are you doing? I don't have your wife in my clothes. As the women disappeared, many people present began to become nervous. It stands to reason that with the positioning ability of the dragon and phoenix ring, Zhang Chuan should be able to sense Luo Yue's disappearance immediately. But now under Zhang Chuan's perception, the other party was clearly beside him, but he saw the other party's figure. Could it be that the space here is out of order? Zhang Chuan wondered in his heart. In his opinion, this is the only possibility now. Luo Yue and others should have been transported to another space by the secret realm. Just as Zhang Chuan was looking around to observe the environment of the corridor, Zhang Yu walked up to him with a flattering look and whispered. Cousin Zhang Chuan, the trials in the ancestral land are full of dangers. How about we work together next time? Since my cousin invites you kindly, I naturally have no objection. Zhang Chuan replied with a half-smile expression on his face, and then changed the subject. But as you just said, there are constant crises in trials. It's a blessing, not a curse. You can't avoid it. What should come will always come. Sometimes natural disasters are not terrible, but man-made disasters are. The smile on Zhang Yu's face froze when he heard this, and he didn't understand what Zhang Chuan meant by this. Zhang Chuan didn't say much, just glanced at the other party lightly, and then took the lead to walk towards the front of the corridor. Located in the corridor of another space in the ancestral land trial. Luo Yue and the other women stood not far from a stone door. Her eyes kept wandering over the stone door with a shocked expression. The surface of the stone door shows the yin and yang colors of black and white, and the door gap in the middle accurately separates it. The black and white stone gate is filled with a simple and mysterious atmosphere, and just one glance can give people a sense of spiritual sublimation and enlightenment. Although they were panicked when they first entered the corridor, they regained their composure and started searching towards the front of the corridor after a while. It wasn't until this black and white stone door blocked their way that they chose to stop and rest for a while. 
just when everyone was sitting cross-legged on the ground, trying to understand the black and white stone gate with the mentality of giving it a try. Suddenly, there was a click, click, click sound from behind the corridor. The sound seemed to be the sound of bones squeezing and rubbing against each other. As the weird sounds got closer and closer, everyone could no longer calmly comprehend. Everyone stood up one after another, and after looking at each other again, they turned around and looked towards the back of the corridor. After only a moment, someone exclaimed, Ah! A! Group of skeletons came to life. Luo Yuwei looked intently from the side and saw nearly a hundred stiff moving skeletons appearing behind the crowd. The group of skeletons almost blocked everyone's escape route. What was even weirder was that there were two black and white flames dancing in the empty eye sockets of each skeleton. It makes people feel creepy and makes their hair stand on end. It seemed as if it felt a lot of human aura, the skeleton's speed suddenly accelerated, and its body gradually became more coordinated. Seeing the hundreds of skeletons running towards them, everyone couldn't help but feel nervous. At this moment, a woman in green robe stood up and struck the group of skeletons with a seal. When she showed off her sixth layer heavenly realm, many people exclaimed from behind. Although this realm cannot be on the list of geniuses, it is definitely the best among the major sects. At the same time, after the seal penetrated the group of skeletons, it instantly defeated them. This person is none other than the Taoist companion brought by Zhang Yu, Li Yuxin, a true disciple of the Zhao Yu sect, the first class sect in the Baji domain. It's just a few skeletons. It scares you. Li Yuxin turned around and said with disdain. But the cheering scene she expected did not happen. Only one person pointed behind her and said. Then, those skeletons are alive again. Hearing this, Li Yuxin turned her head in confusion and was shocked to find that the group of skeletons that had been dispersed by her seal actually got up from the ground and ran towards everyone again. How could those skeletons with only white bones survive a blow from the four extremes realm without getting hurt? What kind of monster is this? Looking at the group of skeletons getting closer and closer, Li Yuxin couldn't help but look sad, and then she whispered to the people behind her. Everyone, hurry up and take action together. As soon as the words fell, Everyone took out magic weapons and used various divine ability secret techniques to attack the group of skeletons with all their strength. They also know that even Li Yuxin from the sixth layer in the four extremes realm cannot solve it, and now they must unite. Although the hands of those skeletons are empty, their bones as strong as steel and gold are the best weapons. Several people accidentally had their arms grazed by the skeleton's finger bones, leaving bloody traces. While everyone was resisting tenaciously, a ghostly figure was moving behind the group of skeletons. Luo Yue held a sword in one hand and used her flexible body skills to continuously move among the skeletons. Every time she passed a skeleton, the long sword in her hand would accurately strike the seventh joint of its spine. The skeleton struck by Luo Yue seemed to have a self-destruct button, and instantly fell apart and fell to the ground into a pile of bones. In fact, Luo Yue thought of a solution when she first saw the group of skeletons. These skeletons are just puppets controlled by the formation here. As long as they know their weaknesses, they can be easily solved. She had encountered them in the hands of a powerful zombie sect in her previous life. The reason why Luo Yue did not tell others about the solution was to verify one thing. Of course, things went as she expected. After the skeleton fell apart, the black and white flames in its eye sockets instantly turned into a stream of gas and flowed into her body. With the integration of black and white gas, Luo Yue's originally consumed spiritual energy was instantly replenished. At the same time, she could also feel that her mental strength and physical body had been slightly improved. At this time, the corners of Luo Yue's mouth couldn't help but evoke a beautiful arc, her body movements under her feet were running at full speed, and her figure rushed into the group of skeletons again in a few flashes. On the other side, everyone in Zhongchuan also encountered a large number of skeletons in front of the black and white stone gate. Feeling the double improvement of mental power and physical body in his body, Zhang Chuan raised his eyebrows and then looked at the group of skeletons running towards the crowd. Could it be that killing these skeletons can improve mental and physical strength? Zhang Chuan was curious. At this moment, his spirit and body are still improving. This is most likely what Luo Yue did in another dimension. The only change now is the group of skeletons that suddenly appeared. 
I guess these skeletons are the obstacles and rewards in the first level of the trial. But just as the skeleton group was approaching, a scream suddenly sounded from behind the crowd. When everyone heard the sound and looked around, they saw Zhang Xiangming holding a dagger and piercing the heart of a person from behind. Zhang Xiangming, are you crazy? Hearing this, Zhang Xiangming pulled out the blood-stained dagger and watched the corpse fall straight down. His shoulders swayed and he kept laughing, Jia Jia Jia. Everyone's expressions couldn't help but change when they saw this. They felt that Zhang Xiangming must be crazy. But at this moment, no one took action against him, because the group of skeletons in front had already pressed forward, and they were unable to deal with Zhang Xiangming at all. As for Zhang Chuan, he joined the team that fought against the skeletons and fought against the five skeletons. Zhang Xiangming, who was standing in the back, smiled and took out a flag. The flag was light gray in color, with faint patterns flashing on its surface. I saw him inserting the flag into the corridor ground slowly. Immediately afterwards, there was a sudden strong wind in the corridor, and countless wind blades cleverly avoided the group of skeletons and slashed towards the Zhang family. Zhang Yu, I want you to die. At the same time, Zhang Xiangming replaced the dagger in his hand with a long sword, and urged his body to rush towards Zhang Yu at high speed. At this moment, Zhang Yu seemed to be able to face skeletons and wind blades at the same time. After all, his cultivation level at the third layer of the dragon transformation realm was there. Although it was accumulated by drugs, it was completely enough to deal with the current crisis. Looking at Zhang Xiangming who was charging towards him with a sword and murderous intent in his eyes, Zhang Yu couldn't help but sneered. HMPH, how dare a mere ant swallow an elephant? Since you are looking for death, then I will help you. After saying that, Zhang Yu knocked the skeleton in front of him away with one palm, then turned around to use his secret technique to inflict heavy damage on Zhang Xiangming. But the next second his mind suddenly went blank, and the entire sea of consciousness was instantly shattered into pieces by an unknown force. Just like that, Zhang Yu, who had lost consciousness, was instantly pierced through the chest by Zhang Xiangming's sword. The other people who were still contending with the skeleton couldn't help but shrink their pupils when they saw this scene. How dare you? How is this possible? Why can brother Yu not be able to defeat Zhang Xiangming? Zhang Xiangming is really possessed by a demon. Zhang Xiangming ignored the people's frightened voices. Looking at the lifeless body that died in his hands, he couldn't help but burst into tears and laughed loudly. He knew that the reason why he could kill Zhang Yu so easily just now was because the Holy Sun must have helped him behind the scenes. Just when Zhang Xiangming abandoned Zhang Yu's body and prepared to hunt down other members of the Zhang family again, he suddenly realized that he seemed to have lost the ability to move. With the pain in his chest, he stiffly raised his head. I saw Zhang Chuan's figure coming to him at some point, holding a sword in one hand and piercing his chest. There was no emotion at all on his face, and he looked indifferent, like a cold-blooded animal that regarded life as nothing. Zhang Xiangming opened his mouth, and all kinds of thoughts came out of his heart, but when they came to his mouth, they turned into three words, why? Zhang Chuan looked directly at the other party with his cold eyes for a moment, then lowered his head and whispered in the other party's ear. You've done a great job, just use your life to make use of the last remaining heat. Zhang Chuan's wrist shook, and several sword intentions burst out along the sword body, instantly shattering Zhang Xiangming's heart. As a descendant of my Zhang family, you dare to kill your own people indiscriminately. Today, this holy son will grant you death. Zhang Chuan said with a cold tone, and at the same time slowly pulled the sword out of Zhang Xiangming's body. As the long sword was drawn out, the opponent's body immediately lost its point of support and fell straight to the ground under the eyes of everyone. Seeing this scene, the others who were still resisting the skeleton group breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, the Holy Sun took action, otherwise we might all have suffered at the hands of this thief. I used to think that the Holy Sun was a little cold and unkind, but from today on, I will definitely follow the Holy Sun's lead. It's a pity that Brother Zhang Yu still died tragically under that thief's sword. Alas, who would have thought at that time that the Zhang Yu clan brotherhood would be defeated? The Holy Sun had already tried his best. At this moment, Zhang Chuan's figure couldn't help but become taller and more majestic in everyone's hearts. Facing the sincere expressions of gratitude on everyone's faces, Zhang Chuan's expression remained unchanged, he took a step forward and said calmly. Withdraw them all. 
you have done a good job. Leave the rest to this holy son. As soon as these words came out, all the Zhang family disciples looked at each other and then retreated to Zhang Chuan with expressions of conviction. They all know how difficult the skeleton group is, and they also understand that with their strength, they are unable to deal with this group of invincible little strongmen. Now that the Holy Son has said that he will take action personally, they naturally fully agree with it. As everyone in the Zhang family retreated, the group of skeletons on the opposite side obviously had no intention of giving up and rushed towards everyone again. But at this moment, Zhang Chuan stood still and did not move. Then he closed his eyes and ignored the charge of the skeleton group. There was no other reason. Just in the last second, the system's announcement suddenly sounded in his mind, and at the same time, the previously soaring mental power and physical strength also stopped at that moment. Just listen to the cold voice of the system saying, Ding! The contract partner Luo Yue successfully conquered the two qi of yin and yang. Hearing the words, yin and yang, Zhang Chuan couldn't help but think of the black and white stone door closed behind him. Could it be that Luo Yue triggered some hidden condition? Without waiting for Zhang Chuan to think more, the reward after the system returned it 10,000 times was already distributed in the next moment. 10,000 times return trigger, the host gets a yin yang treasure scroll. The Zhang family members standing next to Zhang Chuan looked at the group of skeletons that were gradually approaching, and then looked at Zhang Chuan who had no reaction, and felt extremely worried for a moment. Some people have even taken a step forward, preparing to intercept the group of skeletons. But suddenly, everyone felt that the corridor in front of them was instantly filled with black and white, and a simple and mysterious aura was about to come out. Several people close to Zhang Chuan suddenly exclaimed, It's the Holy Sun, the Holy Sun is about to take action. Zhang Chuan's hand suddenly appeared with an ink painting in black and white, and the black and white light that instantly covered the corridor emerged from it. Town, hearing Zhang Chuan's low voice, the Yin Yang treasure scroll came out of his hand and flew towards the top of the skeleton's heads. During the flight, the roll surface of the Yin Yang treasure scroll continued to expand at a speed visible to the naked eye. By the time it landed on top of the skull group, it had already covered hundreds of skeletons. Immediately afterwards, the Yin and Yang scroll began to rotate at high speed in the counterclockwise direction, and at the same time, a large amount of yin and yang energy poured from top to bottom towards the skeleton on the ground. The group of skeletons below seemed to have encountered some irresistible resistance. No matter how they collided, they could not leave the coverage of the yin yang treasure scroll. And the pouring yin and yang chi turned into a huge yin and yang millstone at the terrifying speed, pressing towards the heads of the skeletons. The moment the skulls of the group of skeletons touched the yin yang millstone, they were completely consumed by the yin-yang energy, and not even the fly ash was left. Everyone around Zhang Chuan looked at the skeletons in their field of vision whose upper bodies had been torn apart by the yin-yang millstone and swallowed silently. Having fought with skeletons before, they knew very well the defensive power of those things. Those skeletons could withstand even a full blow from Zhang Yu in the dragon transformation realm, but now they were easily killed by their holy son using a black and white painting. Let me ask, if the skeleton was replaced by a perfected being, it would definitely be a purgatory on earth. Such a shocking scene did not last long, and the yin yang millstone swallowed up hundreds of skeletons with a devastating force. Immediately afterwards, Zhang Chuan saw that after the skeleton group disappeared, a large amount of black and white gas was sucked into the yin and yang baowan. With a move of his right hand, the yin yang treasure scroll returned to its original size and returned to his hand. Zhang Chuan put it away and bumped it in his hand. He felt that the yin and yang scroll seemed a bit heavier than before. The system did not provide him with a detailed introduction to this magic weapon. But after using it once, Zhang Chuan had a general understanding of it. In Zhang Chuan's view, this yin yang scroll is at least a royal level magic weapon. Its attack method is to reverse the yin yang and turn it into a yin yang millstone to crush the enemy, thereby turning the enemy into nourishment to feed himself. This is definitely a must-have for going out and killing people. However, the yin and yang chi mentioned by the previous system did not appear in Zhang Chuan's body. It is thought that the yin and yang treasure scroll swallowed up the black and white gas after the death of the skeleton group. It wasn't until Zhang Chuan put away the yin yang scroll that the people behind him reacted from the shock. The holy sun is mighty. 
As expected of the Holy Son, this strength is simply terrifying. I don't know who is stronger or weaker between our Holy Son and Ling Tian, who is number one on the Tianzhao list. I heard that Ling Tian has condensed the immortal platform and has broken through to the realm of great power. Why, do you just allow Ling Tian to break through? Maybe our Holy Son now has the cultivation level of fifth layer heaven in the great power realm. At this time, everyone present was flattering Zhang Chuan to the extreme, and wished they could stay by his side in the next trial. Although these people seemed to have a hard time resisting the skeleton group before, it cannot be said that their strength is weak. The realm of everyone present was above the four extremes realm. Except for the dead Zhang Yu, there were even two people who had reached the dragon transformation realm and were also cultivation geniuses ranked among the geniuses. But Zhang Chuan didn't have time to spend too much time with everyone. He had to find a way to leave here and meet Luo Yue now. This can not only maximize your own interests, but also avoid other variables. Boom, just as Zhang Chuan was thinking, a violent noise suddenly came from behind everyone. I saw that the black and white stone door, which was dozens of meters high, automatically opened a huge gap that was large enough for ten people to pass through. At the same time, everyone also discovered that the aura emanating from the gap actually came from the same source as the entrance to the ancestral land in the main hall of the Zhang family. In addition to joy, everyone turned their attention to Zhang Chuan. After what happened before, Zhang Chuan can be said to be the absolute backbone of everyone's hearts. Zhang Chuan didn't waste any more words and ordered everyone to divide into two groups and enter the black and white stone gate one after another. As for himself, he was the last one to enter. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.